one of the coolest gameplay trailers I've ever seen in my entire life. Cyberpunk 2077. Also, one of the best music gameplay trailers I've ever seen in my entire life. They have just nailed color. They've nailed style. They've nailed music. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it other than it was like an orgy of gaming goodness in my eyeballs. Literally. Literally. I mean, I don't know. It's just great. It's fantastic. I mean, there was some stuff. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. There was some stuff. Yeah. There was this some definitely, stuff. Definitely, you got to sign into YouTube to watch this. Yeah, video, you do. You know I mean? Yeah, you do. You got you restricted. This, yeah, this one's age restricted. Just, Welcome, everybody. Video. We're going to be talking about the Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay that looks, well, quite frankly, it looks amazing. As always, I'm joined by the bros. Oh, wait, we're the X1 bros, just so you know that. Yeah, this so is. In case you didn't know that. What episode is this? This is podcast number 226. As always, I'm, bro- I'm joined by. Blah! It's Mr. McSpicy. That's all right. There we go. Hello. There he is. And it's Jordan the Man. Oh. Jordan Pascal. Just burning through these. There he is. And last but not least, I'm X1. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, notice whenever the camera goes on you, you pound the table and you always shake oh, the camera. I'm like, oh, yeah, look at that. That's a good, that's a, That's yes. not good. Yes, I like it. It's, yeah. gives, it gives me emotion. Yeah, it's it not makes good. me appear like I have, I have emotion. Welcome, everybody. We're so happy to join you today. We have a lot to get through. First, let's go over true achievements. Uh, we have a, we have a leaderboard there. If you've not had a chance to go over to the leaderboard every seven days. It compares you to the rest of the community. Our champions for this week are BPS21. He came in first place. Congratulations, BPS21. Let's get a clap. Do we have any clap sounds today? Uh, are those yes. Are those uh, no, I can do a clap. I can do my own. I brought my own. Oh, that's nice. You have a little more bass on yours. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. BPS21, number one, Pixie Ninja, number two, Psychotic Sully came in number three. And T Dogs, who's a fantastic writer, used to write for our blog, comes in number four. Thank you very much. Where, every- where am I on that list? I don't know. I didn't look. You should look because I feel like I did pretty good. Okay, I'll, we, we'll look at it later. Later today. You, re- it, you really don't want to look at it now? Yeah. No, I'll pull it up and see where you're at. But I, I don't want to right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I felt like it was a good month for me. I really do feel like uh, we should just a uh, lot of. Uh, a lot of graveyard a keeper. Of graveyard, graveyard keeper. 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 Yeah, graveyard. How how many hours do you have in that game now? I don't know. How many deaths do you, how do you have? How can you in tell now? Every time I go in to try to find my hours, they always put it in another place. I don't know how to find my time any, oh, in, in the anymore. Oh, how many Xbox deaths line? do you have in that game? Like people deaths? in your graveyard. Yeah. Like people Lot, dying. Dead bodies. Lots of dead bodies. How many have you thrown for, in the for river? For a time, I just chuck it in the river. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's, if it's if it's a bad body, it doesn't belong in my graveyard. Mm. I just mm. throw it in the river. Mm. Now, you watched me stream this week, and you had some you had some uh, very intelligent questions, like legitimately, on with like Madden. how stuff is working, and you said you understand it a little bit better now. With Madden? How, yeah, with Madden. So I was streaming Madden this week, everybody. Oh, yeah. We okay. have our Madden League, 32 players. It's been you fantastic. Are, how much caffeine are you on right now? You're like ready to go. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> That's it. I'm just excited. <laughs> okay, okay. So back to Madden. How how is watching it? Have you are you swayed a little bit more towards the Madden direction? Do you appreciate it a little bit more now, having watched someone go through it a little bit and answer some of your questions? Oh no, I still don't like it. <laughs> I, I mean, I was I was when I was watching you stream, I was just like, so why are you choosing this play? Yeah. Why why do this? Why do this? How are you doing this? Just because I you know like to like to understand what's going on. Yeah. Otherwise, I could watch the wall. <laughs> and I'd get the same amount of you know entertainment out of it. So I want to know what's going on. Otherwise, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's mm-hmm. the point? So mm-hmm. I was asking that. But uh, I don't. I don't think I could handle uh, the rage that would uh, oh. that would happen if uh, I throw a perfect pass and they fumble it. No, not fumble it. They intercept it. That well, that actually happens a lot less frequently than in past Madden's. What does happen is you think a guy's open and he's not. Mm-hmm. And that's frustrating. Or you mm-hmm. make terrible decisions because you panic. So frustrating. Yeah, but that the panicking will, you know, disappear over time with experience, just like any other game, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. it comes down to like basically Madden is these micro decisions that build up over time, and whoever's made more correct micro decisions wins. Combined with skilled play, I mean, if you're a good user player, like you're you're on you're on point. But yeah. Well, because we we watched some when you were at over at my place uh, the other day, we were watching some other Madden streams, right? Oh yeah, and uh, which are funny, and it looks as though no one is having a good time because <laughs> everybody's trying to be competitive. <laughs> everybody's you can only have one competitive game. And there's there's like phrases which is funny. Jordan saw this phrase. Uh, I I only win when I'm not streaming. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, that's, he was like, that's 
I will say you are at not a distinct disadvantage, but it's so cerebral that game, and you're thinking like, okay, this is what he's doing. What am I doing? And and while trying to talk, it does make it extra hard. But I enjoy it actually. I enjoy. Yeah. I enjoy losing while streaming. It's a fun time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't like this game, but everyone else does. So my my opinion's stupid. <laughs> So I just, I'll tell I just, I, it's just, I get passionate about games, and this game is too passionate. Yeah, inducing. Yeah, I'll tell you, too much passion for me. I'll tell you what came out this week that was a surprise, an oddly surprising drop. It came out of nowhere. I mean, it wasn't surprising, but it just came out of nowhere. There was no hype behind it. Golf Club 2019. I saw that. It I is yeah. out. I only knew that it came out because no, of our here, Discord. Yeah, yeah. because David, people was, were talking about it in Discord. That was uh, the story I was telling you. I saved for you. Oh, yeah, oh, it's the, the Golf Club 2019 well, I featuring. Got, PGA. Yeah, they have the P- they what a story. It, yeah. What a story. Basically uh. an independent t- little little studio, and then they're not really independent, but a little studio decided to put together a golf game, compete with the big boys, the EAs of the uh, world. Yeah. They just have their own. They do it right. Nothing nothing spectacular, nothing crazy, just back to basics. That's all it was, yeah. back to basics. David, you can play in the John Deere Classic. Yes. Now. Then then they do Golf Club 2, uh, just an improvement on the that back to basics formula. And now they have the license, the PGA Tour license. Only 50 bucks? I've already purchased it, man. Didn't it pop bit, on your thing? A little bit cheaper than normal game. I purchased it day one. I've already played it and set I up I haven't a, turned on my Xbox Oh, yeah, today. that's right. You've been building houses. Yeah. <laughs> well, I turned it on earlier this week. I didn't turn it on You today. sound really depressed when you say that, too. <laughs> Do you see his face? Well, yeah. you, both, you both are, like, comparing sizes about getting the game first. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I bought the game already, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know, I bought it day one. Oh. There is... There it's is, out. There is a golf club society. Go join it, X1 Bros. We're going to be really active in it this year. Last year was number one. Just like Madden. Madden is the same way. We have 32 people. It is awesome. I'm currently one and one in my league. Tomorrow morning, I've got another game. But what a what a blast. Cyberpunk 2077. The gameplay uh, dropped. Yes. We all had a chance. 48 to- minutes of gameplay. <laughs> if, if you haven't seen it, sign into YouTube before you watch it. Yeah, you got to sign in. Yeah, it's one of those videos. It's one of those. Definitely got to sign very in. Very adult. Mr. McSpicy, give me a couple highlights uh, is it what you expected? What was different about it? And your overall thoughts and feeling? This is the first real gameplay that we've seen of Cyberpunk. Yeah. Uh, so I really like it. Yeah, Let me just it. start with that. Yeah, there are things I didn't know were going to exist that make sense that exist. Mm. Uh, for example, you know, the Borderlands, the Destiny, where the numbers pop out like as that. you shoot them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that a lot. Yeah. Um, yes. Because you know... Tell them your favorite feature, man. Oh. Tell them your favorite feature. The slow motion? No, no, no. The other one. The other one. Or the, the stats. The stats. What, what do you mean? The, the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So at the beginning, so in this playthrough. That's yeah, right. Yeah, All right. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It's the best I, part. I really like, I, I mean, CD Projekt Red is just cool. And speaking of cool, uh, when you're creating a character at the beginning, I feel like I'm going to take five hours to create a character <laughs> anyways, right? But well, you're, you're able to create your own character. And uh, one of the stats, it's just like uh, Fallout, where you can, ch- ch- you know, you have your stats, you have strength, uh, you have, you know, stamina, ag- it's stamina, agility, whatever. One of the stats is cool. That is cool. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> like, Literally, you can upgrade your coolness. <laughs> uh, Which I, you know, it replaces charisma. You're gonna put all your stuff in cool. I don't, you mean I, one cool cat. See, in the other, like in Fallout, I never did charisma because I didn't care. But now I care but because it's, it's cool. Called cool. Cool. <laughs> the cool well, like that, But there's a point in the tra- in the gameplay where she puts on a jacket, and that jacket mm-hmm. adds to the street attribute cred. street cred. Yeah, it adds to street cred. And street That's cred cool. is, is uh, from what the guy said, and he, he made sure, he let us know that everything and anything could change. Yes. Say, Multiple, said it several, many times. Many, many times. times. He'd be like, uh, no, just to remind you, a lot of things can change, but let's do something really cool just to show it <laughs> off kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, the street cred seems like it's your experience. Um, so that's how you level up certain things and yeah. stuff like that. So, and everything you wear is like, uh, that, like the jacket, it gives you, um, bonuses against weather. It looked like it gives you, that makes sense. Yeah. Well that may, yeah, yeah, it's a jacket. It's a jacket. It gives you a little bit of armor. It gives you, uh, you know, your street cred boost, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. So. Uh, what I really what there I mean there's a lot of things in 48 minutes to just digest and to to like but I really enjoyed when you'd use your weapons 
the numbers would pop off, yep. so you could yep. just see, you know, it's just a cool style. I really like that. Um, I like, I was not expecting destructible environments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, multiple times they show stuff around you being blown up. You're doing it with your own gun. Yeah, you shoot it, and the, po the posts start cracking and disappearing. So it looks as though there's destructible environments. It Some of the weapons you get actually penetrate walls, and, and you can get abilities in your optic augmented cyber upgrades mm -hmm. to see people through walls. Yeah, what did they call the weapons that go through walls is like tech tech weapons? It's like a, it's a special it's yeah. just called a tech weapon I think is what it's called. Yeah. It's a special high-end weapon. And if you don't want to go through a wall, the, you got the smart pistol. You got the smart bullets. Yeah. That, oh, basically that one track. was awesome. Yeah. So now they, that's high end stuff. They did mention. Now we're going to go into a high level character a high to level, show you what's possible. So the the that assault rifle uh, reminded me of the weapon in oh Fifth Element. You oh, know that dude, rifle. The whole game reminds me of the Fifth Element. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, that's true. That, that's very true. But I wonder if they got this idea yeah. for that weapon. So you know, in Fifth Element, when that. You shoot one bullet and then you shoot the rest and they all target the other. It like curves and goes around yeah, yeah, yeah. and fires at them. They basically have that as a weapon. <laughs> and if you shoot within the big box that's on the screen, it'll automatically target people. That oh, is hilarious. So And it looks so cool. Uh, but destructible environment. Um, I really, I was really a fan of kind of the upgrades you can get. And it looks as though there's going to be a lot of different upgrades. Uh, we saw bullet time, for example. We saw seeing them behind walls. In one of the missions that we watched, we were able to get a little minion, like a little pet thing, robot thing. Yeah, a robot that goes in. The whole concept of we're all half human. I mean, we're human with technological enhancements. Yes. Us. There's a computer system inside of us. Yeah, so that, cool. that we can upgrade. We even went to a doctor man. <laughs> Took out our eyeball. That totally minority report, right? So cool. Yeah. That Did you pick the wrong sandwich? You know. <laughs> 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 exactly. Uh, but there, I strongly suggest if you're if you over have the any age of eighteen. Yeah, if you're over the age of eighteen, if you're if you have any interest in this game at all, uh, check out the trailer. I think it'll nudge you to the purchase side of things. Yeah, l we actually, in our mailbag that you can submit a question to over at uh, Patreon, uh, Jimmy Figueroa sent in, a sent in a statement, really. He said, hey, guys, so that 48-minute Cyberpunk gameplay video made me go from 90% sure I'm going to get the game to 100% sure I'm going to buy the game. Did you guys see it? And if so, what did you like most about it? And are there any... Thing they showed that has you concerned. I do have one. No, it's not really a concern. I'm curious about it though. Yeah. The the thing that most that most impressed me that really, and they focused on it. When you left your tower and you left your building and you go outside, that is the biggest, coolest walking crowd, living world, world. Yeah. that I've ever seen. That's Grand Theft Auto on crack in my mind. However, this is a very um thought well thought out gameplay scenario so my only question is and it appeared to be so grand theft auto does a really good job of every single character is doing its own thing living in this world yeah, with yeah. a night and day cycle uh cyberpunk said that that's going to be in that game as a well big deal yeah, yeah yeah i i hope that it's actually true because in witcher you you had characters that were doing their same thing but it didn't have the same feel as a, of a living world like a grand theft auto has this looks much more grand theft auto living world on steroids, in my opinion, so many different people doing so many different things looked really cool. So that that would be my only. I want to see if it has that. Yeah. It is a living world. These are actual people in the world. I mean, from feel. what we saw, it looked like it. Yeah, no, so. it absolutely does. But Witcher, Witcher didn't, in my mind. I think I think Witcher actually did pretty good. Yeah, they did okay, but it still it didn't match Grand Theft Auto. They just had some things repeat themselves. Yeah. Well, and some of them, and I guess it's the nature of of the the time and the area that you're in that there's just not as much people and stuff what, like that. What but. I thought Witcher did well in that aspect is you'd see a person in town A and then you would do something you would interact with them in certain in a certain way and then you would randomly find them in town B and it's a continuation of mm -hmm. whatever was going on. It was it's not even a quest half the time, right? It's yeah. just they remember you and you did something and and that continuation of those NPCs or you know whatever they are, they're I mean they're they're low level NPCs because they're not even quest givers or anything, yeah. right? Uh, they 
that's what Witcher did so well, and that helped me immerse a that lot more. And, and and can you imagine if we are seeing that world just like a Grand Theft Auto world and each one with of those those yeah. involved with it too? Well, basically, this was one side mission that was that is crazy. Their technology that they're utilizing it's Bioware esque in the fact that they said every dialogue is in what, what I wrote it down. Hold on, it says dialogue is fully gameplay driven. One hundred percent of all dialogue in the game is gameplay driven. In other words, what you do in the game determines the dialogue that you will have and the dialogue that you choose then determines what happens. Like, it's just this crazy sequence of events that can happen and it's going to be different for everybody. And that's what they really illustrated in well, this Well, they, they did that a little bit. Well, not a little. I mean, they did that pretty well in The Witcher because in The Witcher, you, you choose a dialogue event that would take you down path A, but if yeah. you go back and do this dialogue, that would take you down event B. You know what yeah. I mean? So they kind of, this just seems at a much bigger scale. Much almost. bigger scale. Yeah. Doesn't this seem way, as good as Witcher is, I mean, and we put Witcher up there as one of the top RPGs oh, yeah, yeah. of all time, right? I mean, well, it's that this is, caliber of I a think, game. I think Mark said this when I was over here the other day. It, it's 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 a full RPG. Like, it's more RPG than I thought it would be. Oh, with it's, like, yeah. Your clothes, the the stats, like it's the guns, the uh, even your eyeballs, the customization. Are RPG. Well, yeah. We've never had an eyeball RPG before. <laughs> so that's, or, so ar- yeah, armors, armory, and so everything. Like we're we're humans with cybernetic enhancements, right? Yeah, because so for, cool. For a while, I didn't know if we were robots or not. You know, we're Deus Ex. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, that explains it. Yeah. So anyway, cool trailer. Yeah. Well, what stood out to you, Jordan, is something that really you're so like, whoa. It was honestly the. I don't know. Uh, there's so much. The, the guys, you got to tell about the, oh, the shotgun. The, so the, well, the guy got his leg shot off in slow motion. That was probably the funniest thing oh, I've ever seen in my life. So there is a Matrix-like ability that they give you in this game where you can fight, and while you're fighting or doing something, you slow down time, and you can still fire your bullets and stuff, almost like a dead eye in Red Dead Redemption, but it's much it's, more Matrix-y, right? It's Judge Dredd mode. It's Judge yeah. Dredd mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It is. It's totally like, oh, you're in the law. And then they, you take the drug and it goes. Whoa. Anyway, so there's a scene that they show at the end when you're headed to a boss fight and you jump in the air in this scene and, and you, you're firing at this guy. Boom, boom, boom. In slow motion. And then you shock him in, him in the legs. And he says it in slow, slow motion. Slow motion. My legs. <laughs> As he's like falling down. <laughs> it was it's so really funny. funny. I watched it like 10 times. I'm actually. I'm really excited for the boss fights, and I'm glad they went to the cyberpunk universe ish because check the, I mean, in The Witcher, it's high fantasy, right? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I fought the toad, you know, like a giant toad boss, and there are there's vampire bosses, right? With cyberpunk, I mean, sky's the limit, right? Bosses yeah. can be anything. Yeah. I mean, that guy, that guy had shields on, fits into the lore just fine. He mentioned. So, he, I mean, the boss fights, I'm excited. They mentioned for. so at the end when you become when they show off this really high level RPG that you have, the character that you have. He mentioned the Mantis Blades. And he oh, said yeah. Some of you might recognize the Mantis Blades. Very first teaser trailer with the oh, girl who was sitting down. Yes, yeah. you're right. Okay, I was and wondering. the was other like, dude like, about? came up and... Oh, by the way, I, I, think it's awesome. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that they literally give you a blank slate when creating your character. Mm. Like, no underpants or anything. Yeah, you're, you're naked. This is, this is a very mature, gritty, adult... Yeah. Game. You think it's storyline? Like, you think too. it's like Rust, where you can type in the command, turn it <laughs> on and, off. and turn the blur off and <laughs> yeah. on? Yeah. Uh, no, I think uh, I think that's great. Organic Avenger in chat says Netflix needs to lock up the cyberpunk, cyberpunk show rights. That's exactly how this gameplay f- trailer felt. It felt like a high end, well thought out, deep story and world that we're going to be involved. Well, in. and I know I, I read a story about how some people aren't so excited about the first person view coming from CD Projekt Red. I love Red. it. No, I do too. And see, I'm glad CD Projekt Red, I mean, it's all preference really, mm-hmm. but uh, CD Projekt Red basically said that they're standing firm on the first person experience because they want to immerse you even more into that world. And I agree. Know? I think when you look at, I think Skyrim to my, in my mind to date is the most immersive open world game that I've played. Mm-hmm. I, I, and I think and it's you the played first, it. You played it in first person. And I think it's first person. I think I it's the first the, person reason. I played it in third. No, well, because I, well. I like to look at myself. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. But I honestly, I really think it's that first person view. It showed. Yeah. It showed that immersion in this game. They did a really good job of of immersing you in that first person view. I think even even to where one of the highlights of this gameplay trailer to me too is when you leave. I love the money. The money's called Eddie's. That's hilarious. I don't know why I like that, but I like that. Eddie's. I need some Eddie's. Hey, here's yeah. some Eddie's. Anyways, you leave You leave the doctor, the, a ripper, 
and you get into a car and it's a freaking awesome car that you're driving but you get in and even that it's just in first person it just works so well like you're in first person view you're just driving a car the music's playing has so much character i'm I'm, oh sorry go ahead no go ahead ahead. i was gonna say i'm really excited because i mean you can tell there are some parts that were a little edgy and so you know what i mean like it's still in development like there was parts when i've jumpy yeah when like they pulled up the aim downs the 80 you know the aim down ads ADS. yeah Yeah, it it seemed kind of snappy instead of like a fluid bring up and that's but i mean i know it's pretty awful but I do. I think we might see this next year. I mean, that was pretty far along. I mean, unless yeah. that's like the only part of the game that got done, and there's just the rest of it. Yeah, this, but they just they been just on finished this. that part. I'd agree that there. I mean, it, it, the it controls feels like they're, the controls look like it needs a little bit of work tuning. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah just yeah. a little bit of fine tuning. But uh, I d- it feels like they're really far along. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're they're. Do you know they're, what's they're, Do you know what's super cool about that car ride? Huh. He's driving around the block, and if you look out the window, it's real time. Yeah, yeah, you're really driving around the block. And the the guy or the person that was talking to us, you know, hmm. he's like, "Just so you know, we're trying to make this so there's no loading screens." And that yeah. that is cr- that m- massive world, no loading screens. How and you get in the car, you drive around, and it looks as though everywhere you can go, super. Super awesome. So Witcher did no loading screens. Yeah, so they know how to do which it. Which was really good. I, Witcher had well, like... they did loading screens if you fast traveled. Well, yeah, but I mean that... I don't think there's any way around that. Mm, maybe. <laughs> it's cyberpunk. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but the Witcher... The, you know how the Witcher had like sections, like there was Skellige that you had to travel to, which then had a loading screen, but once you were there, it was no loading screen, right? Yeah. I wonder if they're trying to basically, there's no sections, it's one world, you can go anywhere you want at any time, no loading screen, you know what I mean? Well, even that first mission, it seemed as though it had verticality. Well, the verticality, I think, is your loading screen. Like when she goes in, she's in her apartment and she goes into the elevator and goes down. That's the division loading screen. The de- lo- division loading screen is basically you walking through. Yeah. No, I mean like the mission. You know the mission where she at the very beginning yeah. where she goes through and then the paramedics are really pissed off at you. Oh yeah. Those yeah. are really yeah, they're mean. Angry. I, I want that service by the way. <laughs> Just they, they, don't mess they, around. Hey, step away. Step we away. got her. They, well, they, her. they they explained what that service was. It was like for higher end people. They have basically an emergency. So if they're like if they're in danger, the the military paramedics will come and you get them. You pay a lot of money for those jerks. Yeah. To come take care of you. I, I want that service. That's <laughs> yeah. good service. So we were on like floor 15 or something, and it looked as though you could go down the... down. Like if you were to jump off? Yeah. Well, no, you can. Yeah. I mean, that's the impression that I got because where she lives, I mean, you're going down and up and all over the place. So, And then there's vehicles. I bet you we're going to be able to have some of those flying vehicles yeah. as well. The verticality in these levels look crazy as well. Yeah. Night City, man. Night City. Night City. Night City. Uh, CDR Tuvok says Mr. McSpicy will still use his own soundtrack when driving. I actually don't think you will for this game. Have you I heard? Think, yeah, I think this game's music is right up your alley, yeah, man. I don't think it's I'll need to. Synth, essentially, is that what I mean? It's, it's uh, and rock. New. Yeah. It's new retro wave. A new <laughs> retro wave. <laughs> they. I think they're going to have living, breathing radio stations like they did in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. That's what they made it seem. He even mentioned the radio and the song that was on. He mentioned, like, this is it. This is what is inspiration and blah, blah, blah on the radio. Yeah, he did. So I think that's going to be. Oh, I think that, I mean, even the tra- the previous trailer we got at E3, the music in that, I, I have a quick button to press at any time because yeah. I like to hear good music and that. Good uh, I'm excited. This whole, that whole genre, the cyberpunk, you know. Oh, which this, is a cool, it's a cool genre. The yeah. style, the colors, it's, this is going to be the beginning of other genres, other, other games coming out in this same type of time period. And this is the trendsetter. Yeah. Well, you said it. It's super ambitious. It's, it's very ambitious. It's it's. Think about Witcher and then times that by ten, and I think that's what they're going Cause for. Because I'm I'm thinking of my next year comment, but then you think of how ambitious it is. Maybe maybe not next year. Yeah. Because they did look pretty far along <laughs> in this demo. You know? On the first person view, I think Organic Avenger has a great point. He says this game is in such tight spaces that I want that first person feeling of being scared for what's around the corner. That's yeah. a really good description of what. It's Metropolis. It's a future Metropolis. Really tight spaces. Very urban. Well, he addresses the the narrator addresses that right off the bat and says the reason we did first person is because of immersion. We did first person in this game to immerse you into this game. So, mm. I, and I agree. It, that's I agree with that statement. It's it's it wowed me. It really did. I am. You have I such a cool name wowed. too. The V. Yeah. Your name is just. That's so she looks good in her underwear. <laughs> like whoa! I wonder if that's a that's a cyber tech Do you think he looks good? Do you think <laughs> the he looks underwear? <laughs> underwear. Haynes think... is really up their game. <laughs> yeah, that's specialty Haynes. <laughs> Just press the button, it dries itself right off. 
<laughs> cleans itself. Anti stain. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, what were you gonna say, Jordan? Or were you gonna say? I don't know what I forget. Also, one thing. Sorry, I, ju- I took a lot of. Well, notes. when he said underwear, it totally yeah, yeah, throws yeah. us off. Yeah. Jordan goes off to his happy place. Yeah, <laughs> his underwear happy place. Yeah. Um, one thing that really stood out to me too that I caught at the end, if you notice, after he beat the boss fight, which number one, when I was watching that boss fight, by the way, I thought this is how this is what division division should take notes. Yeah, it's well, a, that's why the setting same, is perfect. But the setting is perfect because you're in this cyber tech. So you can do whatever you want yeah. with his special abilities that he had. He had this special shield. It didn't feel like a sponge, typical sponge battle that division bosses sometimes feel Dude, like. You can put a dragon in there and just say it was a robot. I mean, yeah, I mean that's what, the it's limit. A spider. You yeah. rescue a spider robot that yeah. literally looks Your like friend. a spider. Yeah. yeah. Or I mean, look at the guys. They've they they've taken that cyber tech to the next level and the guy's face is blown out and it's just three lights in the middle of his face when you buy it from you know when you're doing that mission yeah. and they're showing off that mission but at the end of that boss fight the narrator that's explaining about the gameplay and stuff he says well this was this was a good raid he called it a raid which i thought was really interesting yeah to use that use that language well i, I don't no, it's not it's not a raid in the sense that you're going to be able to jump in with your friends well, right? yeah, yeah, it's not no, multiplayer no, yeah, you know. but i i i think there'll but essentially be higher tiers, difficulty yeah. higher tier missions that probably give you there was a loot room there was loot in that level that he showed off too it was a whole weapon room well even the every you got loot by killing him didn't you i thought you did yeah yeah, yeah well I, yeah also that also stuck out to me to be too in her house, in V's house, the apartment that you get, at least according to this gameplay thing, there's like this workbench inside the house, and it's like oh, it's her carved sp- out foam of where her weapons would go, and it is the co- I want that room in my house. No, yeah, the, it was awesome. The gun room, dude, it was awesome. Yeah, I was blown away. It's, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Also, uh, one of one of the other things that I really liked, and this is the high end weapons that you can upgrade to, and they did mention that your weapons are fully mo- they they come in modules, mm-hmm. so you can. It sounds like you can mix and match. And put different modules on different things, and and really create your very own unique gun. But one of the abilities was the ricochet one. That was cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wall, he and it shoots ricochets up the back, wall. and you're killing people. Yeah, that was awesome. So cool. That was pretty cool. It, really cool. There's well, a lot. There's a lot of features in that game. So it looks as though they're making you very overpowered, and I think that's kind of cool. I think they're, the difficulty will increase as well. Yeah. Uh, well, they were probably on easy mode, too. You know, like. <laughs> well, yeah, but I just I like games that give you a ton of abilities. Oh, yeah. S- like The Matrix. Remember The Matrix? Oh, yeah. And you just kept unlocking oh. stuff and you kept and unlocking awesome. stuff. And you felt so cool. Yeah. We've they're, said cool like a million times. Oh, but s- yeah. Well, I, I, I like that feeling. Uh what was that uh, game, time game that came out with Bobby? Uh, I have no idea which time game. Iceman. Iceman. Oh, uh, Quantum, oh Quantum, Break. Quantum Break. Quantum Break, which I think is... Kind of had something similar, yeah. Yeah. So you became really powerful in that game. Yeah. You started slow, and then you be, then you started manipulating time and doing stuff and doing stuff, and it just... I like... It was a good game. It was really good. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good game. I really like that feeling of yeah. not just... I don't know. They, it gets more difficult, right? But you have unlocked so many different unique abilities, like shooting off walls, like getting weapons to shoot through walls that you can see with your newly acquired eyeballs, eyeballs. Yeah. right? Hey, yeah. is, is your name V, whether you pick the guy or the girl? Is it just V? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm unsure. Or do you, I think I think might I might pick. I think I might play as the girl. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Dude, that guy was pretty ripped, man. No, I. Just, I he was pretty. I mean, it might be cybernetic enhancements, but yeah, I, I, I just think it's cool. Good eye in chat says so. It'll have the MMO feel yeah. without being an MMO. I'm down for that. I think that's an accurate description. I really do. It is. The whole time I'm watching this gameplay trailer, so it starts out I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool, and then the the deeper and deeper it gets into it, and the depth that they're showing off, I'm thinking. Single player. There's all this talk about single player games not going anywhere. No, no. It's, single player games are being taken yeah, to a whole a new lie. level. I don't need to play with my friends. They've developed this world with a million friends that are just AI. And make like my it, own cyber friends. There's no friends. difference. There's and it fits cy- into the it's, lore. It's, yeah, it's cyber friends that fit into the lore. <laughs> like really, that they that we're gonna see single player games. If this is an indication of the future, and and we get what they're actually showing off, we're gonna see single player games that will be multiplayer games. But but it's just us. We're playing by ourselves with AI. That that's how this looks. That's how this feels. Oh, 
So it's an awesome good. gameplay demo. Re- really, really fantastic gameplay demo. If you've not had a chance to check it out, all you gotta do is type in uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I highly recommend you just go you to, sign in first. to the uh, Project CD Red and click CD on Project Red. CD Project Red. Sorry, and click on their YouTube channel. The rest of them are, are like third party websites that sometimes they'll talk over it. I think it's really annoying. So just go watch the original. It's there. Yeah. Uh, it's on our Facebook page. And then watch the other two trailers while you're at it because it'll just get you hyped up. Yeah, Facebook.com forward slash X1 Bros. We have the we have the link in the video up there. Any any closing thoughts? McSpicy, why, why don't you leave a closing thought, closing impression on the gameplay video here? No, I'm excited. Uh, they're going to change the game, literally. Yeah. <laughs> the the single-player genre. They're, they're, well, even the Grand Theft Auto-style type yeah. game. They're going to push the bar so high. It looks as though they're pushing the bar so high. Uh, Rockstar does this, I think, every time they release a Grand Theft Auto game. The and bar is raised so far... That uh, it pushes how other games are made. It's mm-hmm. it pushes what we accept from a single player yeah. game. Really, I mean, that's... There are, I mean, the games that have done that in the past: Witcher, Zelda, Breath of Wild, right? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and the Rocks, Grand Sky, Theft Auto, Skyrim, Skyrim. Yes, those games we talk about and we will talk about until you know, for years and years and years. And then this looks like it's going to be one of those games. So I'm really excited. I mean, that uh, who was it? Jimmy Figuera. He said, "I was ninety percent." Jimmy know, Figueroa, Yeah, I was ninety percent wanting to get this game. Now that I've seen that, I'm a hundred percent. Yeah, even I think while while you, you just watched ten minutes on stream this week while you were streaming, and I think it was Reactor Leak and Chant that says, "I'm not interested in this game at all." After ten minutes, he was like, "I'm one hundred percent buying this game." It it. It it feels, and I don't mean to get so hypey, but it feels like it's going to be one of those games that we talk about for a long time. Yeah, which is really exciting. Yeah, no, it 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 really is. As long with the caveat, here's the caveat: as long as we get what they've shown us, and we will. I mean, it, well, I mean, I mean the pedigree. I have faith. Yeah, they've yes, done CD such Project a good job. Yeah. Whoa, very cool. Oh, I feel like I feel like I should take a shower now. That just, <laughs> just <laughs> well, rinse off all the. Goodness. I think you can. <laughs> yeah, you that you. <laughs> That you can. September 15th, we have a community play. It's PUBG. Come and join us. Noon Eastern uh, is when we will be starting. So Saturday, September 15th, the week of the community play, we will be putting up um, in, in the Xbox clubs and LFG. All you got to do is express interest there. Then we open it up to the party. We want as many people. We'll probably use in-game chat, I would imagine, for this one, if we get enough people. Now, we have custom games with PUBG. We're going to try to do as many people show up we will do a battle royale mode or whatever mode that we can do with with the amount of people that show up. We can get a we can easily get a hundred people in there. I don't th- I don't think that's an issue. So let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's make it a community battle royale and have a blast. And with that, let's get this show on the road. Jordan, tell us what is happening in the world that is Xbox. Well, can I can I share something with you guys that I want to share? <laughs> community. Actually, before uh, I mean, we go, what do you, you see? This I t- decided to take the case and. Jordan almost knocked my, Jordan Sorry, knocked my I phone pressed down. that again. I didn't mean to press I have decided to take, the case off. to take the case and the tempered <laughs> protective glass <laughs> off of my phone today. This is based off of uh, an interview I heard on another podcast with Mr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He was like, yeah, I want to feel the phone the way it was originally intended. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. <laughs> that's, so, that's actually a really awesome comment. I wanted to feel my electronics <laughs> the way they were this intended is, uh, to be felt. This and is how it's God right. Look at this. This is the first time it's been out of case. This is and how it's the so creator be- wanted us to feel it. It's so much better now. I'm I'm nervous, but it's like uh, I'm not as nervous now. You know, you that know I'm actually, I always I always that want I'm to take doing my, it. That comment is true. I like I almost want to take yeah, my phone. Yeah, this is the way that it was intended. And look at this. It's sleek. It's slim. It feels great in my hand. It's like this. This is this is the analogy that I'm using. It's like dating a supermodel. And she's got a just rocking body, or he, whatever your preference is, and he's yeah. got a rocking body, or she's got a rocking body. You don't cover that body up in baggy sweats. No, <laughs> you tight fitted clothes, maybe a bikini, maybe some speedos. You want to show it off. You want to enjoy it. You don't put that in baggy sweats. Yeah. This is my supermodel, my phone, yeah. my electronic supermodel, and it's beautiful, and I'm loving it. Yeah. You're filling it the now way. Now you've been doing this for a while. Put I it up against. It. Put it up against your face, man. Here we how, go. How did it feel against your face? There it is. Oh. Do you talk? I meant how you talk. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Right <laughs> you want to know what feels good? In my pocket, just slides right in. Yeah. yeah. Like it's Slips supposed right to. There. No, I've been doing this for like four years now because I had a, I had an experience where I had the latest Gorilla Tech glassware. I had like <laughs> cat, I had like 
Ke- Kevlar bulletproof. Kevlar bulletproof uh, glass casing that they put on like choppers and that go into combat. And then I had all this rubber around mine. It fell from one inch. It fell from one inch. I kid you not. And the entire screen shattered. Just, just like a spider web. And I went, holy crap, because that thing was like 60 bucks for the screen cover, right? Yeah. I, I, my life was changed. I said, well, if God wants to break that screen, <laughs> he's going to break it, whether I pay $60 for a Blackhawk. So you, you decided to go with fate. No, yeah. In the hands if of it's going to break, it's going to break. I, of course, I am careful with it, like I said before. Yeah, I like your tip. Your tip, your number one tip, screen in. Screen, whenever you put, screen against the leg. Whenever you put the phone in your pocket, yeah. let the screen touch the leg. That's and, and screen it, to leg contact. It, yep, yep. And I can't, I cannot put a case on it because I mean the phones are a massive now, anyways. Oh yeah. But like seriously, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so no, yeah. And if it's gonna, you've had a good success rate of not breaking your your phone screen, yeah. or anything, yeah. No, yeah you did get the phone. That I mean, you so far I've gone. <laughs> So far, I've gone like eight hours yeah. without ha- Jordan. Join let us. It, let it join be, us. Free let your it phone. be known. Free your phone. It's liberating. Let no. it be known that the thoughts and opinions are our own, and uh, we don't take. Uh, you know, I, I did choose to do I this. I knocked your phone out of your hand, though. <laughs> I did. Yeah. No jerk. That's what we call a dick move <laughs> in our culture. <laughs> hey, Jordan. I took my screen off. <laughs> uh, Jace asks, "What's uh, what's your electronic supermodel name?" Veronica. I just think that's a sexy name, Veronica. Mm. 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 Okay, moving on. Sorry. So yeah. Jordan, you really should free your phone. Look at that. Look no, at see, that. but well, I'm all covered I mean, up. So see what happened there? It fell off a two-story roof, and it's still protected. Yeah, so but, I mean, but don't take your phone on the but roof. See, here's the well, deal. I got to. Here's the deal. Did, this, did that case save it, or was it just going to be safe? Cause, was it like the way that it happened know, to land? Fate. I, I, think, I, I, think think cases, I think I'm going with the fate argument. I think cases are overrated. I dropped mine with everything from an inch, and water, it shattered. There is something to say about waterproof cases, although now phones are waterproof anyway, so... Well, they're water resistant. Ah, it's resistant. I don't that, believe that. That's an important it's like difference. Like an expiration date. I don't believe those either. <laughs> that's that's actually a very important <laughs> difference. That's 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 two feet versus thirty feet. Thirty meters. Yeah. Why is everything in meters? I don't know what a meter is. <laughs> I know. I don't know what a meter made don't, is. Don't get me on the imperial system. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The uh, English first imperial. Is that what it is? English first imperial. Yeah. No, yeah. That's what we use. Is the we imperial. Use we use imperial. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we first. we. We made the metric, it. Right? We metric. made it to the frickin' moon and feet. Okay. okay. Yeah. Stuff that, First. measurements that were First. invented yeah. in the Middle Ages with barrels. <laughs> okay. We know what we're talking about. <laughs> we know what we're doing. <laughs> Don't give me that times ten this, mumbo jumbo. This ten. This integrations of ten that makes total sense. Yeah. No give, way. Give me Fahrenheit. Give me feet Fahrenheit, and miles. Fahrenheit nine eleven. Fantastic book. Oh yeah, I read that book once. Yeah, it's about book burning. Ironically, yeah. a book about burning books. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Jordan, tell us what's in the news that is Xbox One this week. PAX is this week. Oh, right. PAX. PAX West, the one in Seattle. Oh, it yes. starts tomorrow, August 31st through September 3rd. Xbox is going to be there. Do you think we, so, we hear any reveals from PAX West? Uh, maybe not reveals, just more like uh, Gamescom, more, more info. Yeah, although we had some reveals. Well, Bundles. We had some reveals that we're going to get to here. Yeah, well, first of all, we have the reveal of September Games with Gold. Oh, what is in the Games with Gold? Now, let me tell you what's in the okay. Games with Gold. For Xbox One. Prison Architect. We have Prison Architect. Yes, that's a very good game. Now, this was Xbox what, One Edition. What is the game that, Mark, you played that you couldn't get out of the prison? Prison I think, I think it was Prison Architect. Like escape. No, Prison Architect is what I thought that escape game was, and I recommended you get it, and we got it. No, and it was 8-bit game. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the old... Yeah, it's like escape, something escape. I think yeah. it's just escape. It might just be escape, but you're in a prison, and you're trying to escape. Oh, yeah, and then you realize you, you just, just have, have to walk, walk out the front, front door. door. I literally spent, uh, what, 10 hours... Trying to—that's how they get you. I'm making the paper mache man in my bed. You're I'm hiding d- stuff in the vents. I'm becoming friends. I'm getting you know shivs to stab people, and you know I'm doing all this stuff, and I could just walk out <laughs> the front door <laughs> when no one's looking. That Who was knew? like that was like the first level tutorial, and I spent ten hours on it. At that, uh, you get your money's worth. <laughs> you did. You did. I'm like memorizing where all the the so, the police officers go. What their names are. Oh, man. <laughs> You're like taking notes. Open up your Excel sheet. I did. That was everything. an Excel <laughs> game. And apparently the first one. when I recommended out. that game originally, I thought it was this game, Prison Architect. I thought it was Prison Escape. 
Prison Escape is the game, yeah. yeah. This, no, well, prison Architect escape. was the game I thought where you build a prison and you try to, it's it's prison tycoon, basically. You're imprisoning, you're trying to have a functioning prison. I Ooh. actually ended up buying this game, but now it's coming with actually, Games I with Gold. Actually, I like this game. Yeah, you're coming with Games with Gold. I think, I think I'm going to give this one a whirl. You should. I mean, I purchased it, so you have it, so oh, you should. Oh, okay, well, yes. <laughs> Good. Live Lock is the other one that's coming. Yep. For and then one. for the 360 backward compatibility, we have Lego Star Wars Episode Tray. 3. Episode Tray. And then and we have an Monster old World. arcade Sega game. Vintage Monster World. Looks good. Yeah. Looks it's, really uh, good. it's basically like a collection, you know, Sega games. Yeah. So, super cool. Uh, we already talked about this one, but Golf Club 2019. 2019. It's PGA here. Tour. Let's say it again. It PGA is the tour. PGA Tour. Now, I have started my PGA Tour match, and you've got to work your way up. It's very cool. How this game goes, I, I've only played it for... Oh, I only did the practice tutorial, and then I've played one... one Round well, one nine hole round. So I've done nine holes. That's all that I've done because I've been doing Madden. But I'll jump into it more this weekend. So far, I think it's an improvement. I think Organic Avenger was really heavy into this game, and he basically said it's much more polished in every way. And I completely agree with what I've experienced so far with it. One of the big improvements is the meter, the the swing meter. It just makes much more sense this yeah. time. It's bigger. It's more clear. One of the criticisms I know that both Organic and Andro SFL had of the game was the ball trail when the when the, when it goes it's it, it's not transparent so it's kind of in the way mm-hmm. when you hit the ball um so they could change that but everything else is an improvement if you liked golf club one if you jumped in that golf club two was an improvement over that if you like golf club two golf club 2019 is a mm-hmm. is a major improvement over that and it's the pga license so you get to play on the pga tour that's huge. So, so awesome. What? It's just a good game. McSpicy, this is a game. This is one of the sports games that I think you yeah, could, could get into. Yeah, 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 golf. And yeah, since sure. you fixed your clubs, and by clubs I mean your controller. My controller. Yeah. yeah You're probably think, doing really well now. Yeah, well, I, I highly recommend. This worked for me. I don't know if it will work for you. And I don't remember who told me this. It might have been Organic Avenger. I was using, it defaults you in Golf Club 2 to the right joystick for your swing. I switched to the left. When I switched to the left, my game improved substantially and i think it's because the way where the joystick is placed oh, it's lower, down and so up going, is yeah. way easier to stay straight and that's your swing motion the down and up on the on the left hand there super super fun do you think you can jerry rig your controller to have bumpers oh yeah yeah with like the, rubber bands uh, and stuff yeah yeah i like the bowling alley david gets pissed if you talk about stuff like that though. oh that's considered cheating, cheating. Yeah, that is in that game that's that's, cheating. that's basically enhancement that's <laughs> yeah you know where's not cyber tech that's where's no cyber tech allowed yeah, on your that's, controller that's uh some some you have a golf steroids. club 2019 well in that game that is definitely cheating because the whole game is based off of like how you do with a free roaming joystick right that's cool it's mm. very cool. It's out now. Go check it out. I think I'm, when I play against you, I think I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I'm just so to piss you off. Like, he's got to be cheating. Now, whenever we play, if you get good at that game, I'm like, he's got to be cheating. He's cheating. <laughs> he's cheating. No matter what you say, I won't believe you. <laughs> That's fine. You'll be like, no, I've just been practicing. Cheater. <laughs> and I'll be so pissed. I'll run a macro. So it's like 100% accurate. <laughs> also out now. Hold on. I had one more thing to say about that. Can I say it? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. We have a society. Join us. X1 Bros. You just got to search for it. It costs $0. Get in now because it costs $0 to be part of the society. Next week when we jump in, I'm bumping that membership fee up, baby. So you have got you better get in now. We're going to become exclusive in a little while. One week. One week only. It's the pre-sale. So it's in-game money, right? It's in-game money. Yeah, no, it's that real. you earn by doing stuff. You got to buy a DLC pack. Doing stuff. You got to buy DLC. You got to buy coins. <laughs> <laughs> so gotta buy loot crates. Gotta buy loot crates. <laughs> to get in. Uh, also out in game preview is Daisy. It finally Daisy. made it its way over to the console. It's it on the Xbox. It'll be interesting to see if how it does. If yes, it, if yes, it is able it's, it's to rebrand itself or rethrone itself, take back its throne as the king of uh, this style, this genre of game. Yes, out on Xbox One, thirty nine ninety nine game preview oh. so uh if you're interested be uh, go ahead and check it out oh. now there was some big destiny news this week one Huge. one they gave out kind of a roadmap Season of, of all the their outlaw. yeah of all their post launch post launch content yeah. uh basically it sounds like they're i i th- now this is what i think happened i think they saw anthem and they're like oh they're like oh shit oh yeah we yeah, have I think compi- that's exactly what they we said. Have, we have like, competition. Because oh. <laughs> uh, so they weren't taking Division seriously. I mean, yeah. Division's like the little kid that 
tries to fight you. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> but I mean, you could push him down, right? I mean, that's that's yeah. what it was to Destiny. Like, ah, get away, kid. Yeah. You know. But then they see Anthem and they're like, oh, that guy's bigger, stronger, and better looking. This is Billy in Stranger the Things. The guys, the guys, yeah. like, <laughs> the guys <laughs> like running up the stairs. Like, like remember, they have yeah. Iron Man suits, and they're like, oh, <laughs> Billy. Yeah, you just hear. They brought in Iron Man suits. Oh, what are we gonna do? Okay, that's it. We got to work now. <laughs> Let's get yeah. to work. And hey, they have. Uh, basically, there's a crap ton of stuff coming, and that's post-launch. That's not even the actual game. You have a crap ton this is of after, stuff. This is, this is the season of Forsaken. So once Forsaken drops, then they basically outline everything from for the rest of the year. Yeah. So you got your Forsaken uh, launch, which is, by the way, on Tuesday, and we will talk about the launch trailer in just a second here. Cause just one second. Freaking Stay awesome. Tuned. That's called a and teaser then, right there. And then... You have uh, December 2018, uh, Season of the Forge, Black Armory coming. Uh, also, Spring 2019, Season of the Drifter, Ooh, and Drifters. Joker's Wild. They talked a little bit about Joker's Wild. Mm. And then Summer 2019, you have, as David said, Season of the... Is that the Outlaw? Season of the Outlaw. Oh, no, or is it Season of the Blank? Uh, because I think it's just blank on my screen. Season of the Outlaw. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, oh, it is blank. It yeah, is just blank. blank. Season of the... To be announced. Yeah. That's what it is. It's yeah. to be the graphic designer forgot to update Summer 2019. That. Ooh, shoot. It says event to be announced. Oh, cool. Anyway, <laughs> and check this out. All these updates are free oh, really? season. Or so this, there's season. Okay, so the, okay, so there's the seasonal updates which are free, and they come with a variety of changes. And then there's the annual pass content that is the paid content essentially. Yes, eight man fire teams. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a real good time now. A lot of features you're, coming you're out for Destiny. Dro- you're about to blow my mind here, right? Yeah, a yeah, lot of features A lot of features coming out for Destiny. Uh, the season pass stuff was cool. I'm really excited. They, you know, I, it's a good roadmap, right? Yeah. We, we know where they're going. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I saw the trailer, the launch trailer. So we all know that Cade dies, right? There's a lot of theories out there as to that. Well, whether he's he, not whether, really going to die, comes, you're bring him back. Whether he comes to life or comes back or whatever, that, that'll be. We all know the opening trailer. Technically, we died. Well, and I then mean, we came back alive. I mean, we we did Very see true. Kate's memorial in Los Angeles. We we did. I, we were there. We in were person. there. We paid homage. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. believe I took a picture, a selfie in front of it, because that's what you do to respect the dead. <laughs> There's cup noodles there. You take, take, you take selfies in front of their <laughs> memorials. memorials. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Cade. Before he dies, he goes down like a true fighter, man. Like yeah, he does. He's like, no. Well, he basically goes down like a true Nathan Fillion. A little smart remark. The guy that about to, the guy that's about to shoot him, which is the the queen's brother. The queen's brother. Mm-hmm. I forget his name. Come back. But uh, Kate asks if he can borrow his gun because he lost his. <laughs> and it was pretty good anyway. But what's really cool is the guard, your guardian, you as a person, you actually talk in this trailer. Oh. And so let me let me wait. Do they use my voice or? I, I don't know. Because this maybe. whole time Not, I've been imagining it was me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they use a deep, really deep, cool voice. Oh, yeah, that's okay, that's okay. how I imagine yeah. it. <laughs> when I say me, so, that's what I mean. So basically you're at Cade's, you know, viewing, if you want to call it. I yeah. don't know. Memorial. Yeah, sure. And it's, you know how Cade was a part of Zavala and the, the Warlock Ladies yeah. uh, fire team? Yeah. So they're basically talking about, like, hey, he was in our fire team. Like, it was us three. We need to go get this guy. And Zavala basically said... Kind of alludes to the fact, like I want to get him, but you know, I I don't want to see any more of my friends die. Like we can't handle this. And you're there, you the guardian, and you step up and you go, "I'll kill him," and then you just oh. walk away. Oh. <laughs> Feels good. That's like two. You like you walk up him. and you're just like, "He's mine." You too kill him. You and then you, just, you just walk away, and then it <laughs> yeah. and then it and then it transitions and does all these cuts to like you being a. Bad A. Nice. It was a good trailer. It cool. was a really good trailer. Tuesday, this Tuesday, September fourth. Oh. It's coming. I'm, I want to play this game. I'm I'm going to. Dude, I'm really excited. I'm going to. That is I'm gonna do that, it. that is exciting hey. times. Huh. Hey, I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so remember last week we talked about a leak about Xbox. Yeah, here it is. All access. Well, guess what? They decided to make that a reality. Say, oh, it's not a leak. Guess what? They're it's probably true. like, oh my gosh, that's a good idea. That's yeah, idea. They're, they're it like, wasn't actually a thing. Someone just made yeah, it up. I need to make a call. Uh, can you like, someone call Dell? Hey, can we just partner with Dell? <laughs> <laughs> Let's partner with Dell. Phil, hey. turn on channel seven. These guys got a great idea. Yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
call Steve from Dell and we'll just uh, we'll just make it happen. So Xbox All Access is here. Xbox All Access is a two year contract with the Xbox One X, Xbox Gold, or so it's a you get an Xbox One console. You can choose the S or the X. Uh, and then your price changes on there. You make monthly payments. Because um, I'm Ginger, I believe, in our community told us he... I'm, we've had actually a couple people post in Discord that they've already jumped on this. Uh, $35 a month. you got to be approved through Dell in the Microsoft Store. They do it through Dell, approved for, for credit. Well, because, yeah, that's they, credit yeah. approval. You can't just give it to anybody. No, that's true. <laughs> and then it's a two-year contract <laughs> that you can pay off at any time, 0% APR. $35 a month for the Xbox One Which, X with Xbox Live Gold for two years and Game Pass for two years. That is so awesome. That is really cool. I mean, just how does fantastic. The, how does the Gold and Pass work? Like, do they attach it to your account? Like, do you get a code saying this is good for two years? I would imagine just like when you buy a box, it comes with a Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, right, yeah. I'll bet you it's a specific... Yeah, they just made this call last week. They really, yeah. they yes, didn't have a lot of time yeah. to figure things out. Just yeah. do the same thing. Give them yeah. codes. Just, who haven't we partnered with in a while? Yeah, I yeah. Know. This is a fantastic. I think this is just it's 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 not earth shattering by any means, but it is a way to give. It's a it's a good way to get more consoles out there. Let's put it this way: then when the next console comes out, if I don't have five hundred bucks laying around. I'm doing this. Yeah. Like, that's not even a question. Doesn't I'm just going to do it. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, it really doesn't cost you much more. Right? And well, 35 and the, a month is more appealing than 500 up front. Yeah, and it actually well, it costs just, you less over yeah. two years. It costs $40 less, I believe, is how it, what they calculate it to be. <laughs> I think I might just buy another one. Yeah, let's that's, go. That's $20 $35 a month. Dell. That's, that's $20 a year that you're saving. I got good credit. Yeah, it's $2 a month. Like one point seven five, actually two dollars a month, dollar seventy five that you're saving. That's two things on the dollar menu. Yeah. Do you know what's awesome? I can sell my Xbox One S and then just use this program to buy another X. And you then, really could. And then buy more games <laughs> with your two dollars a month that you're going to yeah, get back. Yeah. yeah. There you go. But no, I think this is great. It's just going to open up, give people more options, more options, more choices. It are always good for consumers. It's good for gaming. Uh, I think all game consoles are going to go to this type of model. Probably not Nintendo, but everybody else. <laughs> Dude, Nintendo does their thing, man, Nintendo. and I respect them. Nintendo doesn't need... They just they do whatever they want to do, and we love their stuff yeah. because of it. <laughs> it's pretty true. But it's really cool. Super, super exciting. Super exciting Breaking stuff. Breaking news as of, I think, yesterday, or was it today? No, was it today? I was yesterday, I think. Uh, EA and Battlefield got together, had a little powwow, and said that they're delaying Battlefield Five. Yeah, did they announce? So it was releasing October twelfth. Yeah, right. Squeezed in your squeeze in there was Red Dead Redemption Two, Fallout seventy six, and no, 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 no. It was Red Dead Redemption and then Call of Duty. So now Call it's going up against Fallout seventy six, which is better because generally those two crowds, you know what I mean. You're still going to get your hardcore shooter base. Oh, yeah. over, you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. they're different. Yeah, and I think this this is big in the res- because we knew that their pre-orders were down. The pre-orders were down big enough to make news that hey, their pre-orders are substantial down substantially than what they expected. Do you think this helps their pre-orders at all? Not going up against those games. Oh yeah, I mean, maybe not their pre-orders, but final sales. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I well. mean, you're going up against two juggernauts and Call of Duty. They're riding the wave right now. A lot yeah. of people are excited. I'm excited. Call of Duty, I uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually bought that game because I wanted the beta access to the blackout. There, yeah. there. Oh, that's that's. Remember last week when I said, "Do you want to waste sixty dollars?" Yeah, that's what it was for. Because I want the only way. To, this is how they get you. The only way to get into their beta, you got to buy their game. Yeah, I know. That's so, smart. That's smart. So I bought it because I really want to try out this blackout beta because I'm very interested to see how they do their uh, battle royale. Oh, uh, are the is it going to be in that? Well, the if you pre-order the game, you get the beta, which is. But you know how betas don't unlock certain things? You know, they give you a little bit to play with. Are you going to be able to play the Battle Royale mode in this beta? No, it's specifically the, the Battle beta, Royale well, beta. beta. Yeah. Because mm. right. the Battle Royale mode is called Blackout. Okay. Mark, is, I see it inside. Yeah, He's I know. There. Guys, you guys. He's there. Yeah, that's, you that's so cool. saying, hey, you You're mixing you his, ex, bucks? his ex addi- addiction with his new addiction, <laughs> Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's like, the, it's well, like I, the super I, drug, honestly, the synthetic I, super drug. I really want to see how Call of Duty does it, and it's coming up pretty soon uh, if you pre-order the game. I think PlayStation gets it first, like a day or two. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, huh. so we, we got I, I pre-ordered it. Yeah, this was probably a smart move in an attempt to distance itself a little bit from mm-hmm. all of these huge releases. Well, and get that's more why, I mean, some you know there's speculation if they're doing it because of this or if they're going to make it. They said that they're going to make some adjustments, right? And I was, yeah, so anyway, I mean, they probably are going to polish it a little bit more, right? I, yeah. I, I don't mind that. But I think the big reason is 
sales were down and yeah. you're going you're it people called there's a phrase on uh on the internet called Titanfall Tude. They they Titanfall Tude it. And they basically they you don't no, want they don't tude, they don't yeah. want to get Titanfall Tude, which if you remember came Call of Duty, Titanfall Two, Battlefield within all three weeks, sandwiched. and they just got sandwiched right in between two and big Titanfall, heavy hitters. Titanfall Two, oh, good such game. a good game, yeah, good such game, good nothing game. wrong with you it. You don't want people to miss the boat, yeah. So people are saying they don't want to get Titanfall Two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's very so. true. Uh, there is also now you can pre-order a white Elite controller, a white Xbox One X. And it's bundled with white Turtle Beach headphones as well. As well uh, as it looks super sexy. It's also bundled with Fallout 76. It's also bundled with Fallout 76. So now they have the white edition, the white Xbox One. Oh, I don't know why, why. Like your computer is white. It's, I mean, white yeah, is sexy. I, I love white electronics. Yeah, yeah, it's just very, very sexy. But that I'll tell you what. That white Elite controller, I might be jumping. I might be jumping into yeah. the white Elite controller. Whoa. Looks so good. But Battlefield Five will now launch on November twentieth. There you go, so November twentieth. Give you a date. So a speaking month, so speaking of the white console, did you yeah. see the white Elite controller? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. I'm jumping back into the oh. white Elite controller. Oh, okay. Yeah, where I, were you? I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know where, <laughs> where I am. Ever where half you? the time. Where are you? Zoning? No, I where didn't. Zoning, I didn't hear you say Elite controller. No, yeah, controller. no, that's yeah, that's that's. Sorry, I probably didn't. That's. That's what I'm most excited for, and it's because it's white on the front, and in the back the grips are gray, like this oh. clean mm. gray. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, I'm gonna design my own controller in Design Labs. You could do that, but it's still not gonna be the Elite controller. Yes, but it'll have grips. <laughs> on. This is true. One more thing that I really wanted to mention that got released this week, and I'm mentioning this because I've talked about this before. I really like grand strategy games, and I've been saying I would like Paradox is uh, is one of my favorite developers. Yeah. Over on the PC, they Crusader make Crusader Kings, Kings Euro- Europa Universalis. Stellaris is their latest release, Stellaris. which is basically Crusader Kings, Euro- Europa Universalis, Sins of a Solar Empire, all combined into one game. Mm. And well, that's, that's, and it's, that's a good Stellaris, sandwich. it's getting, I mean, it's, it's, I own it on, on Steam. I actually went and reinstalled it because of this. They dropped a trailer being redone for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Wow. No release date yet. But I'm really excited for those of you it's who cool. are turn-based strategy, for those of you who are into just strategy, for those of you into grand strategy. This is the ultimate grand strategy game. We gotta play it. It's multiplayer. Yeah, that's why everything. I've been. I remember we talked about this a while ago. But remember they had one Civilization game, Civilization Revolution on the yeah. 360. Yeah. And I was. I think this is a step went, in that. Yeah, yeah. I that to direction. More. Why not be? Well, I, and I wonder if this has something to do with Microsoft really trying to make their development on the Xbox a lot more accessible to PC. Uh, developers, so that they are saying, "Yeah, why not? Let's just do it. Let's move it over there. Might as well get some more sales." S- very exciting stuff, though. Might as well just partner with Dell and make money. That brings us to the last segment of our show. This is the mailbag segment. The mailbag is uh, where we take your questions. If you'd like to submit a question to the mailbag, you can do so by joining us on Patreon, patreoncom forward slash gaming And uh, if you subscribe, you gain access to the mailbag. Submit a question and uh, have a chance to have it answered on the show. First question comes from Samsonite99. Oh, by the way, we did release... Samsonite. By the way, Samsonite. I was way off. By the way, we did release a update video on the studio. Go check it out over on Patreon. Uh, we also put it in Discord there, the link in announcements. Um, we're going to keep you updated on the studio and how it goes. We also did a, a newsletter. There was a hipster review of the film, Studio Update. It was... <laughs> Basically, an enigmatic interpretation of <laughs> Chaucer's. Yeah. What happened was David Beowulf. Wa- <laughs> <laughs> David watched a or read a hipster movie review, and just basically changed a couple words <laughs> and rewrote it on the the studio update video we made. Anyways, if you want to get those weekly newsletters, uh, you can sign up over on the website. Uh, one goes out every week, and it's just basically bonus uh, way to stay connected with the bros. I uh, get to be inside my crazy head. And stuff like that. Yeah. It's a scary place to be. <laughs> yeah. Samsonite writes in and says, I realize this is an Xbox podcast, but and we can relate this back to Xbox. Watch how we're going to do this. It's mental gymnastics here. Oh, okay. He says, but what is the word on the street on the current state of the PlayStation VR? My girlfriend has a PlayStation 4. We live together, and I have a birthday coming up. And thinking maybe that would be an easy way to get my VR feet wet, especially since that Rick and Morty game came out. Is there much support still behind PlayStation VR, i.e. current games in future? Instead of rocking some Cyberpunk 2077 on Xbox, I'd jump ship to my girlfriend's PlayStation instantly if I knew Cyberpunk was supporting VR. Man, that would be sweet. 
Jordan, you're the one that owns the VR headset on the PlayStation 4. And let's talk about this as mm -hmm. VR as a whole because we know Xbox a few years ago announced that they're going to be partnering with Oculus Rift. Where are we at in the VR world? Is it? Do you think you should jump ship, go and jump in uh, with the VR uh, Samsonite, what do you what do you think he should do here? Do you think it's dead? So, do you think it's going I anywhere? Mean, I, I don't think it's dead. I mean, it's a new technology, right? I think I think VR is a super cool experience, and that's where it lies right now. Yeah, like like when we got when I got PlayStation VR, we did uh, we did you know certain demos, different games that we bought, um, and stuff like that, and it was a really cool experience, but. It is not yet a full on game. Yeah, device. yeah, it was, and I like you can see when I was we were playing some little RPG game or something like yeah. that, and it was I was like, man, I can re you can really see like this is potential, right? Like this would be really cool if you like. There's a lot of cool things. Like it kind of makes you think ahead. Like wow, this is really cool when they get to this step. But as of right now, I, I think it's a really cool experience. As for like playing Cyberpunk, I don't think it's gonna be. I don't know. I don't. I don't think the system's powerful. You, I don't think that's going to be the I best mean, way to play if, that game. If it's in VR, it would probably just be like the screen. Well, it's you the know same what I as, mean? As not not like essentially like you're on on a big screen TV. Not like actually if you turn your head, the character turns their head type of thing. It's the know? same as like uh, it, was it Skyrim that you could go VR with? Uh, yeah, you can do. Skyrim I think VR. Skyrim. Yeah, but you got to think Skyrim's a lot older game. Well, no, no. But here's what I'm saying. It's cool to experience, but the best way to yeah. play Skyrim is the normal way. Mm -hmm. Like it's mm -hmm. not in VR. VR, I don't think will take off until that becomes the best way to experience a play yeah. game, and it's just not there yet. No, I agree. I th like I said, I think VR is a super cool experience, and I do have fun with my PlayStation VR, but it's not where I'm doing a lot of a hardcore. Mister McSpicy, agree game. with us? Disagree with us? What do you uh, think? I think VR is a gimmick. It doesn't appeal to me at all. Yeah. So, I, I, I guess I'm the negative Nancy. You guys have hopes. That's great. This is another. 3D television. 3D television. It's another. Uh, what are these things the Xboxes used to have? Connect. Connect. It's an. It's just another one of those. It's cool. It's a cool concept. Cool idea. Maybe in 20 years, maybe it's gonna be not so fisheye lensy. Yeah. That's that's really what bothers me mostly is the whole. They have to do a fisheye lens to make it work, and that that breaks that breaks the immersion for me. Yeah. Immediately. What, and when I think it gets to the level of Ready Player One. I think that's yeah, true. yeah. One, if it's Ready Player One, we're all there. Yeah, but I don't. But what, isn't that twenty? What year is that? Twenty like sixty four or something? Yeah. It's yeah. it's a ways wait. <laughs> and and twenty seven playing twenty seventy seven in twenty seventy seven. <laughs> maybe maybe that's when it's gonna. It'll happen. be a remastered. <laughs> like, hey, here it is. Um, I think what was telling is that not one conference, Sony, and Sony's the one that really dived in, did their own thing. Sony or Xbox even mentioned VR. Sony did in a roundabout way they show it the game that you didn't know was vr is was a vr game that they were using in between but the, I, I, I just don't think i think they see it's just not there yet you, you're going to need a game or an experience that's worth getting it for and that's mm. just i don't think it's the best way to play any game right now it's just a cool experience like yeah like it's a said. good it's, it's a party favor it's a demo for yeah. five minutes and then yeah. you're like woo, okay put it on my tv let's play so i hope that helps sam tonight but either way but i mean if if you can get a cool new toy for your birthday. <laughs> We're always for that. Yeah. Why not? I mean, no. Get yeah. It. So let us know what you decide either way, Samson. I, but that's our, uh, that's our two cents on it there. Fitzy writes in and asks, just watched the update video on the studio and can't wait to see it completed. In the video, you mentioned the private bathroom with a bidet. I'm going to let Mick Spicy answer this <laughs> question. He says, I've looked into getting one for my house based on how much you guys have praised them in the past. Do you recommend the attachments that just connect to your existing toilet or should I go all out and get a whole new toilet with the bidet built in. Enjoy your guys' Labor Day weekend. For me, it finally means I can get some gaming in. Well, congratulations on that, first and foremost, Fitzy. So, Mr. McSpicy, mm -hmm. you're the one that introduced us to the bidet. Well, actually, Jordan, I think, well, did, but then you bought it. Well, yeah, because we bought it as like a joke yeah. for Jordan's yeah. birthday. Yeah, it's great. And Mc, McSpicy, what do you recommend? Go full blown, get the professional toilet, or you just get the attachment. But that's so expensive. Getting the yeah. like the the main talking about twenty bucks versus a few hundred slash thousand. Yeah, the bidet we got is thirty two bucks. I think on Amazon. It's a great entry. It's like an entry level drug. Yeah, it's an entry level drug for your bottom, <laughs> and it works just fine. <laughs> yeah. Right? You gotta. When I installed mine, you gotta make sure that you tighten things correctly. Otherwise, it'll leak. Yeah. And when I first installed mine, I actually put paper towels around each joint. To see if it was leaking, and it was, and so I was able to fix it, you know, just because you got to tighten it. 
So I bought, just user I bought mine like six months after yours. The new ones now, those are metal. Oh, so they so changed they, the, they've improved the parts. The parts okay. and they've no upgraded. Issue at all. They have upgraded, yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, it's changed my life, that's for sure. Even these cheap 32 models, $32 models. Mm. I uh, I don't even think you need a warm one. I don't actually don't oh. want a warm water one. It's refreshing. I can't remember if I've said this on the show or not. I probably have a million times. But when we went to E3 and we had to use the regular toilet paper, oh, it was the worst. It was like an animal. I know. It's like it's like when you get used to watching TV with a remote, and then you've got to stand up <laughs> to go no. turn the channel. Are you kidding Not me? Not only that, okay, this is going to be, I mean, we're just going to talk about it, okay? We're just going to dive into this. We're just going to do it. Um, you know when your fingers on a guitar, you play a guitar Callous. a while, you get calluses, right? Uh, Callous. Over the course of 30 years, I got, you know, calluses from all that toilet paper I've been using. And the wipage. Yeah. Now that I've been like living free and not even having to do anything, when I've had to go back to toilet paper, it was rough, man. And it's not as clean, and it's not as clean not at even all. Close, yeah. Uh, it's it's a difference. Way more sanitary. It's the difference between washing your car at home with your hose and your thumb, versus going to the car wash and you got a professional, no, high power that. wash. No. Okay. Thing no. taking care of your car, you're getting all the okay, dirt. That out power, of there. that power wash. It's okay. Yes, that's the bidet. But let's say your car got muddy. You're not even getting it wet. You're grabbing a towel and just smearing the mud all over the place. <laughs> that's all you're doing with uh, you know. That's uh, not clean. That's not clean at all. You're just how animals you're moving move. it around. <laughs> you're literally just moving that towel all over the place. You're just smearing it. <laughs> hey, but if you can swing, but, but hey, hey, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you can swing like the tankless toilet bidets, so that's that's no, the way. That's I'd the go. benefit you get. Um, you can if you get the toilets, you can get the the hot models. Mm. You know, like the warm water. I've done the warm water thing. I'm not a fan. I'll be honest. I like the cool, brisk. Mm, yeah, you know. Fitzy's actually in chat and says cold only or the hot cold feature. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit. I thought so when you very first do it, you're like, ooh, cold. It, it gives you a zing, but it's refreshing. It's, it's like splashing cold water on your face in the morning wakes you right up. It feel, it feels fantastic. I don't think I'd like warm you can water. Get it's, it's mint little... toothpaste. It's mint toothpaste. <laughs> That's what it it's is. Mint toothpaste for your bottom. It's either. I've seen some that actually give you a little blow of air to dry you up afterwards. Oh, oh yeah. really? Those are those oh. are like on those are on the tankless like the ones. Dyson oh, hand cleaners. Okay. Yeah. So so <laughs> I guess you can upgrade to some pretty significant uh, tech. Yeah. But uh, but I stick with the thirty two dollar model and I am just as happy as a beaver. Happy as a beaver, Fitzy. You're very welcome. Also, we do have a we do have a link in announcements and that is directly to the bidet that we use. So go click on that link and. Uh, Enjoy. Welcome to a whole new world that will change your life. It Turn is, the power up. I man. mean, it is awesome. It is. Oh, yeah. The ones we the thirty two dollar model has five power settings. You know, I, there's the tutorial phase, <laughs> but then, you then can there's go, hyperspace. Then you can go right into warp nine. And I'm telling I'm telling you, man, you got to be careful. Just just. Yeah. Just be careful. With Thank that you very much, power. Fitzy, for that question. Really appreciate appreciate it. Sorex writes in and says in an inter, in a recent interview with Microsoft studio boss, Matt Booty said, Game or blah, blah. In a recent interview with Microsoft Studios boss Matt Booty, he said Game Pass uh, about a hundred times and directly tied their choice of studio acquisitions to Microsoft's visions of the program. What do you think Game Pass will be like in five years? The, does the number of games included increase drastically? Does the revenue model fail and it goes away, or is it is it so successful that third party AAA games are wooed to launch there? Wild speculation is encouraged. Sorak says. So I did, I did, I did have a chance to catch that interview. And one thing that was interesting, just to answer the question on, do we think we'll get more games? Um, in in all of their focus groups and in everything, they don't want. Uh, game gamers have said we don't want more games. We just want quality games. And so it's not going to be a thing about more games. And if you've noticed, that's kind of the direction they've gone. Right around right around where they're at. Are they at 100? Is it 100 games? It's above 100. In game it's above 100, yeah. Right around there, I think, is a sweet, sweet spot. But they want quality games in there. I, in fact, an EA Access is probably proof positive of that. EA Access does not have that many games. But what they do have is their, their big-time AAA quality mm -hmm. games in there that make you want to purchase that. So I think as far as game, it's going to be there. As far as, do you think, Mr. McSpice, let's go to you first, and then we're coming to you, Jordan. Do you think uh, it fails and goes away, or do you think Game Pass is here to stay? No, it's not going to fail. It's, it's too a, good of a deal. It's, a really good, it's successful. It's a really good deal. People are getting it. Um, and a lot of people, 
as the word gets out, especially with this new thing where they're giving an Xbox yeah, with, with it, it as well, right? Uh, it's not going to fail. I mean, it's not going to fail just like Netflix is, has not failed when it first launched. Yeah, this no, is this true. is very similar to Netflix. Uh, I remember. So I showed you that interview with Steve Jobs. I was Jobs just going to say this. In, in 2010, Steve Jobs had an interview, and it was right around when Google and Apple were having issues, right? <laughs> they didn't like each other at the time. It's a really good interview. Just if you want to watch the whole hour and a half plus interview, but he mentions uh, in that interview about Netflix. Well, not Netflix, but movies, uh, where movies was and where movies should be, and um, it's really fascinating uh, what he talks about. Uh, one of the things is uh, that ne- he says the movie industry needs to allow people to watch movies that they own. Wherever, whenever, however, mm. and uh, which is basically you. You mentioned well, the guy from Netflix was probably sitting in the audience. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Um, he was like, "Oh, oh, hey, I have. Movies. I think I could do that. I think yeah, I could make that happen." This is of in a very similar state. Uh, you know, eight years later, we are now just getting our version of Netflix gaming. Yeah, in, in, in its infancy, and uh, it's going to change the game. I really think this model is going to uh, be the future of gaming. I really believe that. Yeah, EA Access really kind of opened the door, and I jumped right on it because I play those games. Yeah. EA Access is a little bit different as a, tr- as a trial balloon going up because if you're not into EA's games, you're not going to want that. Mm-hmm. Game Pass, and, a, and a Microsoft can do, the, do this because they're bigger. They're not just focused on their own games. They went and, and they have a variety of games from different developers, different studios, um, and are, are offering you that for free, and it's it's worth it to the game studios. For instance, a game that I'm really into right now, Skylines, uh, City Skylines, which I'm experiencing traffic issues now. By the way, McSpicy is. <laughs> yeah, very, I know you. It's that very there, frustrating. There's like it's that very. I think it starts to get heavy around 35k. I'm at 30. I'm at 30 right now, and it's like. I'm I'm redoing my freeways and everything, and this is me pre-planning for this too. Yeah. Then then you hit sixty, and then you're like, oh my gosh, it gets to another level. Eighty k is where you cannot grow anymore until you <laughs> fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait till you get to that level. Anyways, City Skylines is in Game Pass right now for free. What this does is it allows people to get the game in Game Pass, and then you can purchase it. Now that you're playing the game, I can purchase the DLC. Yeah. And I, th- I, I would be curious at what their numbers are because I think that's a great draw, especially a game that is older. A game like Graveyard Digger, no interest in. Or Graveyard Keeper. Graveyard Digger. That's uh, a Dig sequel. Dug. Graveyard <laughs> Dig Dug. <laughs> Graveyard Dig Dug. <laughs> <laughs> that nobody knows about gets exposure. You jump in, play on Game Pass. When there is a sequel to it, that's how they could then release it that way. Really build an audience for you at first. Yeah. I think okay. Let's talk about like some of the best deals in gaming, and I'm gonna compare two things. One being the Game Pass, the other being the Steam sale. Okay, and both I, probably two of the best deals in gaming. Best deals in gaming, absolutely. The difference, the difference is, I'm actually playing the Game Pass games. Interesting. When I buy the Steam games, they just go into the library, and I'll be honest, I've played probably one percent. Of the games that I've gotten, you just in. buy them because they're like why not? like a dollar and a half for a four right? pack. Yeah. yeah, and I think why I'm playing them. One of the reasons, well, a they're really good games, but b I have this thing where I don't want it to leave Game Pass, so I want to play it now. Right. Yeah. And that said, the games have stayed around. You know, especially the titled games, the Microsoft. Oh, Microsoft are there yeah, forever. They're there so forever. Good, yeah. But I'm actually playing the Game Pass games, whereas the Steam Cell games, I've never played or looked back. I have them. I have like 300 games yeah. in my Steam library. And you know what? Having said that, because for me, it's the opposite. I look at my Steam library, I'm like, what do I want to play? And I have such a huge list. I don't know what what to play. So it becomes overwhelming. And so that's where may, and, and that's where I wonder if that's the psychology of, of we don't want to have a huge game library. Well, that, just that's, qu- just the quality game library. That's, that is a good model. Yeah, it really is. I mean, on Netflix, I, I experienced the same thing. There's so much. I'm like, I don't. I well, don't see, know. Netflix, I don't know what I want to. I don't know what I want to so watch. There's so much noise. There's so much noise. Bad way, shows. Yeah. Well, originally there was. I think they've been changing it to where they're getting more and more better stuff. Yeah. But yeah, it, that's Netflix has in the past had a lot of 
bad movies, and so I would not go there for movies. I would go there for TV shows. Yeah. That was originally. Now it's changing a little bit. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, and also, oh, also, I did get into the beta of on iOS here. You can you can jump into the beta already on, what's it called, on Android, but you have to sign up for the beta on iOS. But I did get the Game Pass app, which just dropped, and they're going to be coming out with it. It works fantastic. I think it's amazing. And a lot of people have said, why don't you incorporate this into the Xbox app? I think the Xbox app has some things that they're working on. This, it's so smooth. It shows me this is what's most popular Here, right now. Let me change the camera so oh, you yeah. can show Oh, yeah. Here we people. go. So we can show chat. There you go. There we go. Okay. So it shows, like, most popular right now. This is really hard to do. Let's see. There we go. Um, and you can scroll. Then it shows, like, games that will be leaving this month. Hold on. Let me get there. Recently added is this next one. Um, that's actually oh, there's nice Graveyard Keeper. I saw yeah, Graveyard Keeper on there. That's actually nice that they tell right you, hey, there, this game's leaving this right month. Right there, highlighted. Right and then we've got Featured, Picks for You. Then you can browse by category. You, you've got like Action, Shooter, Racing, and it breaks it down. Then you can come in here and you can just say NBA Playgrounds, boom, install, installs on, on your game right there. What a cool app. Yeah. Opens you up to so much more. It's so clean. It's so smooth. It just works so good. Game Pass is here to stay. I absolutely 100% yeah. agree with that. Jordan, thoughts, anything that you want to well, add, no, I, change? I, th I think they want it to be their thing. Like when you buy an Xbox, you, you buy Game Pass, right? Like I think eventually they'll want it to be like you don't need to buy other games because of Game Pass. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. Now, that might be hard because of all the third-party developers out there. But, you know, if your item's hot. If your item's hot, it's hot. Yeah. I mean, everybody wants to be on Netflix. All the comedians want a Netflix special. It's going to be like that with a publisher. Hey, I want a Game Pass special. Why not? Why, yeah. why, why can't it be that way? We'll put you on Game Pass, give you a 20% boost. 20% boost in your, uh, your exposure revenue. And, and revenue. Great question, Sorax. I really enjoyed that question. Thank you very much uh, for sending that in. Last but not least, we have the man, the Destiny man himself. That's right. It's Polka Fraud. Polka Fraud writes in and says, Winter time! Is usually a good time for me to stay home and game more than I usually do. What games are you guys looking forward to playing this winter? He says, besides Destiny, I'm excited to play Anthem and Smash Brothers. Let's start with Jordan on this one. Jordan, oh, geez. winter gaming. And I'm I agree with him. Uh, winter is a time yeah. that you stay inside, snowing outside. You stay warm and toasty. Oh, I love that feeling. But instead of by the fire, you're by your TV. Yeah, the like warm glow fire. of the television. Well, you could do both. Or your monitor. You could do both. You could start a fire Ooh, and yes. play video games. Yeah. And you're playing a game. What I, game? What, what game? Are you I looking know it's to not story? quite winter, but I'll be playing it through the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Red Dead Redemption. Oh. Yeah, that's the best. That's, that's, right. that's the biggest winter, one for me. Winter starting right yeah. there. It's fall. fall. Fall going into winter. That's another. By winter, winter, I'll have beaten the game. We talked about single player game changers. That looks yeah, like it's going to be yeah. a, a single game play game. Whatever. I'm really excited for their changer. next trailers, and I love that they're doing them like they did the first one, where they got the narrator. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So Red Dead Redemption for Jordan, Mr. McSpicy. Anything, anything uh, that stands out to you? Myself, I'm also gonna be. So it's gonna be Forza Four that I'm gonna be playing a lot. Then Red Dead Redemption, and I'll probably juggle my time between the both of those. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. McSpicy. No, I'm going through the list. There's actually this is uh, kind of a big list. <laughs> There's actually a lot. There's coming in the winter. Quite a Just bit. Just cause four. So don't forget Fallout 76. Yeah. Fallout 76 is there. Yeah. I think I'm going to spend a lot of time there. Fallout 76 for you. Yeah. But, I mean, that's, of course, in between my Red Dead Redemption mm. 2 stuff, right? So after uh, there's Battlefield 5 that I'm sure I'll, I'll be playing, right? Yeah, I, I mean, is, I'm just looking at this. Look at Ace this Combat list. 7. Anthem. Ace Combat, baby. Are you going to get Devil May Cry 5? Who's not? Okay, that's a good point. <laughs> very, very good point. So I've never played where this where where do I start with the Devil May Cry? They have Devil May Cry. That's, a, that's in, in March, right? That's in March. They but have I'm just Devil May Cry in Game Pass right now, and I always look at it. I'm like, do I start with this one? Because I'm not playing a Devil May Cry game, but I know like when we were at E3, people went crazy oh, when yeah. Devil May Cry came on stage. So I know it's it's supposed yep. to be just Mark, really acclaimed. Mark's favorite video game scene of all time is from a Devil is May Cry. From game. a Devil May Cry. <laughs> video. It is awesome. So that that gives you the pedigree. I'll that show that you. I'll it. show you what it is after the show. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Remind me. You're you're gonna dig it. It's pretty good. Needless to say, we have a lot of games to look forward to for winter. Uh, Red Dead Redemption and Forza Four for myself. Ooh, uh, I forgot about that one. And what, will it be the winter season? <laughs> it will be cycling through seasons in that game. So who How fa do you goodness. think? Wait, I thought. Do they, are they not doing it like seasons? Well, I guess you. I guess depending no, on where you're at, it's as you're driving. The seasons change. Well, Dude. so like, 
Oh wait, that's right. Are they right. gonna do you it like in my race. at the demo? So you don't know about the no seasons. the demo. No, I know about the season. <laughs> it's not. It's not like while you're driving, all of a sudden it's gonna be snowing, and then oh, it's sunny. Like yeah, yeah, no, no. Later. But it will be time. It will be. Well, that's what I'm saying. Are they just gonna do January's winter, February's summer? No, Martin, no, no, and they'll no, just no. rotate it. No, 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 no. It will be timed like hours, like. This no, hour is spring. Oh yeah, no, guaranteed. No, that's yeah. too short. No. That's too short. I think. I think because think about it. The way they're setting it up is like come winter season, you can do these types. Uh, so it makes it more right. rare. You know. So I don't I, know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's not honestly not important to me. What's <laughs> important to me is the team racing. Yeah, number yeah. one, and it looks good. And just being able to drive around the Highlands of yeah. Scotland. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, that's I'm all cool. about that. Maybe, you wanna, maybe they have a little Duncan. I'm going to start naming Duncan. some games starting. Starting okay, right away. What's winter? Go ahead. Destiny it, it Two to Forsaken comes oh, out. In, there you in go. Poker Fraud mentioned that. Besides Destiny, yeah, I'm getting he's that one. Play those other games. Yeah. But yeah. And so I don't know if you play any of the NBA games. Two K. Two K. Yep. Two K is coming out next week. Yep. Well, I actually well, uh, in a week and change. I actually right? will be playing that. I might be streaming that. Actually, everybody. Just so some inside. I know there's there. a lot of people that listen to our show that play NHL. And uh, NHL 19 comes out. Takes place on the ice. And a couple days after yeah. that takes place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to get Shadow of the Tomb Raider, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, yes, you are. But the thing is, is I, I want to... And by the way, if you guys seen the Which new, is have two you seen, weeks from now. Have you seen the limited edition console for Shadow oh, of the Tomb Raider? No, it no, it's not limited edition. It's a charity... Or charity thing, yeah. Charity... It s- looks... Bid. Awesome. It's so cool. Yeah, it's a cool console. It's like anyway. covered in jungle and there's a light in the middle of it. It's yeah. really cool. So the thing about that game is I still haven't beaten the second one and I want to play them in order. <laughs> hey, stop making excuses, man. Those, there's just so much, man. Yeah. There's so much out there. All those games are within two weeks from now, by the way. <laughs> okay, give me okay. one. Give me one. You want, go down this list. There's big, big hitters. Okay, big FIFA hitters. 19, if you're a sports, that's it a big, big, big deal. I mean, it's a big world. That one worldwide comes out release. this month okay, yeah. or September. David's getting that one for sure. Oh, Fishing Sim World? Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah that's mm. right. You did no, mention it. I want the Sim Bus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember the Sim Bus game? Yeah. This one. This one's for me, Life is Strange 2. That's a big... A lot of people are looking forward to that one. guys. Yeah. This one right here, I'm doing it. Okay, but that's October. We're oh, still that's in October. September. Oh my this gosh! Still so, like, wow. look at what we have ahead of us. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Just like the rest of so the then year. So then, of course, Forza Horizon Four. You guys yeah, were mentioning that. Um, okay. I'm all over that. September now, 28th. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm getting that one. That big. comes out in October. Big boy. October second. Now we're to the big boy games. <laughs> oh my gosh! Call of Duty comes out October 12th. Big boy. And then just. Just shortly after Call of Duty, where's that? We have Soul Calibur Four, which I know is a big deal for some people. For right? fighters, um, I'm looking through these. <laughs> Just Dance. I know uh, they always throw out the same. Uh, Those yeah, panda yeah, bears. Yeah. yeah, but here's the big one. Right in October, the end of October, Red Dead Redemption Two. Oh, mommy. Yeah, that's <laughs> I know. Like, look at this list. We have so many. What's give me games. November? What's November? Uh, we have Hitman Two, which dude. And, oh, Hitman One is in. Isn't Hitman One in Game Pass? I believe it is. Hitman Season I, 1. Yeah, I think it is. Yes, I want to jump on oh that. Oh my I gosh, I got to play that. that. Yeah. I haven't played it yet. I've seen people streaming it. Need to. And it looks very it good. It looks fantastic. Okay, here we go. Give it to me, November. November 14th is Fallout 76. Oh, And you man. guys, November 20th, Farming Simulator 19. Oh. Dude, Farming Simulator is going up against Battlefield it's 5. Going, same Dude, it's day as say, Battlefield. It's saying, it's saying, hey, you, you know saying, what? Hey, Battlefield. I wonder, that's I wonder if Battlefield 5 picked that date on purpose, like, <laughs> Uh, what's we're launch- what's we're launching then? Farming Simulator. Let's put it then. <laughs> Those <laughs> are then. all within the same day. Oh my gosh! Then we have Dark Siders Three, which I know is big for for a lot of people. Yeah, Dark Siders Just Cause game. Four. Oh. Just, Just car- Cause Four. Okay, guys, that game I'm getting. I never beat the first game. Physics Explosion. But that simulator. was seriously to this day one of the best sixty dollars I've ever spent in my entire life. Yeah. Do you know what it's like to, to get a grappling hook and attach some innocent <laughs> dude? <laughs> to it and then attach the other end to an airplane. They don't even need a and story. Then, just the playground. And then, and then blow up that airplane and just like watch that dude fall <laughs> for like the game. The game. And then... I did that game's amazing. That, that's seriously one of the best $60 I've ever spent so in my life. So excited for that. So, so yeah. So that... Just like that list and I skipped a whole bunch of games that you know maybe yeah. people would be interested or not. That's starting next week. So what you're saying is it's going to be a Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It always oh, is, man. We're going to have a lot... I mean, what a problem to have yeah. to not know what you're going to be playing. Yeah. And uh, just I hope everyone's it almost, been saving money. It almost stresses me out. Right. Like, because you're like, oh, my, I got I to gotta play this game. Like the whole Tomb Raider thing is stressing me out because I want to beat it and play the next one. But I, there's too much going on. You know, it's, it's 
it adds to my stress, man. Dude, it's true. Great question. Thank you. So many good games. Very much, Polka Fraud, for writing in. Uh, Mr. McSpicy, what are you going to be up to this week? Are you going to continue on with Graveyard Keeper? I I am, actually. Uh, okay. So I have two... P- what? I was just saying bodies down the river. Bodies. Bodies. <laughs> I've bodies. now... I'm no longer polluting the river with bodies. Oh, I, I, thank n- you for that. Hey, yeah. as someone who lives on the earth, thank you for that. <laughs> Well, wouldn't a body be biodegradable? Like, I mean, t- yes. Hey, yes. You know what? Actually, I'll give you a pet. You can put your bodies in there. Just don't put plastic straws in the river, please. <laughs> you can put, you can put, you can put the bodies in there, though. Okay. Slow clap that one. That's an inside joke. That maybe you'll get it. Uh, when David's streaming, ask him about plastic straws. <laughs> ask me about paper straws, actually, and then you'll get the story. They literally sucked. <laughs> Pun not intended. Pun not intended. Do you want to tell your story Literally now or sucks. do you want to say it on the stream? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell it now. I'll this tell it now. This is a funny story. Okay. Another riot. Well, let, let me preface this with, if you are one of those people that believe in recycling, I am one of those people too and believe in... in, in I got a blue bin. In not... <laughs> I got a blue bin. <laughs> I did too. Yeah. No. And if you don't want to waste uh, trash and stuff, yes. And I think that that's important to do. Just don't be stupid about it. And this, this, this is this is this is my big pet peeve. The place that I work for, they they contract out the cafeteria, basically, right? <laughs> and the cafeteria, we go all along. All of a sudden, students are back in school, and all, I'm I'm there. I get free sodas, so <laughs> I shouldn't be Amen. drinking there. But, <laughs> but that makes to, it hard though when you're trying to lose weight. <laughs> oh yes, it does. <laughs> so I go in, get my get my cup, put my plastic lid on my cup, and then it says. We have no. We we are not supplying straws. You must ask the front desk for a straw. Well, okay, no big deal. They're trying to save down on people not wasting straws. Don't have a problem with that. When I go to the front thing, it's a. It's literally. I've never seen one before. How, yeah. How does a paper? It's a straw paper work? straw, and I'm like, okay, well, it's pretty. It kind of looks like a candy cane. <laughs> I put it in my drink. I take a sip. It disintegrates into my mouth. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I'm sucking paper. <laughs> I'm literally sucking paper. And so I take it out, and I'm like, hey. I hate this straw. To the to the lady <laughs> to who's checking me out, I'm like, lady. who's giving me the soda for free? I'm like, hey, I hate this. I hate these paper straws. And she's like, and she's like, I was like, it disintegrates. And she's like, well, that's kind of the point. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Well, they they don't work. Like, <laughs> they're not is, straws. Do you have something that I could use besides this? And she said, well, we're trying to save the the sea turtles. And I'm all for that, <laughs> but I live in Utah. <laughs> Like, we are landlocked. <laughs> there are no sea turtles for thousands of miles. I mean, I almost ran one over on my way to work. <laughs> <laughs> and there are no sea turtles here, so don't tell me that. Just say, we're just trying to be more environmentally safe, and so we're using these crappy straws. <laughs> I, w- I could appreciate that, but don't tell me about well, sea you know turtles funny is, in Utah. <laughs> you know what's funny is, don't they just, don't, doesn't paper come from trees? So, yeah, like, so we're killing trees. <laughs> I mean, what do you want? It's, it's well, I love how the people behind you in line were. Yeah, and anyway, so the guys were like, "Yeah, these straws do suck." Just you know what? You know, I've been thinking about this because I'm all for their cause. Like, yes, but don't give me, don't replace it with something that su- that doesn't work. Clearly, well, you know what they can't, can't done can't, though? Can't, wait, hold isn't on. plastic recyclable too? Yeah, I think so. I don't I, understand. I don't know. I don't understand the whole thing. How do sea turtles? Did did, did if you like put a straw in the ocean, can a sea turtle? Oh, I'm sure. It hurts. Does it like poke it in the eye? Yeah, I know. I'm sure. <laughs> like, I don't, what is a straw, dude? I, I mean, if there's it. lots of them, maybe it's harder <laughs> to. I'm sure it harms the sea life. Like I'm not. Well, I just I don't I don't get but it. But give me something that works. But I've been thinking about it. What can you replace with a plastic? And first of all, and also, if you're going to be all in, why do you have a plastic lid? What's a plastic <laughs> lid is better than a plastic straw? Are you kidding me? Like. Like if you're gonna go all the way, go all the way. Don't give me oh, this. Yeah, like, I, hey, I, we're trying to be. Better. I got another question. Yes, is it wrapped in paper? The straw. The straw. Yeah, it, ju- it is paper. It is cardboard. It's literally, it's literally like cardboard. Well, because you know Think how like, like a handmade like, cigarette. When you get a straw, it's wrapped in paper. Yeah, like do you like, unwrap the like, paper to get the what's paper? What's next? Paper condoms. <laughs> we want to save the plastic. Like, oh, well, this will work. Oh wait, why are you pregnant? <laughs> we're trying to save. It disintegrated. The, save, save, disintegrated. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like metal straws. Like, just say, hey, bring metal ones. Like, just tell me that. Or Support you, your own straw. Or if you wanted to, give me a dollar off my drink if I bring my own cup. That's reusable. That's a way better way. But I've been thinking. Gas stations instead do of, that. Inste- <laughs> gas stations do do that. Instead of that, if you want to provide me with a straw, Twizzlers, just give me a Twizzler straw. It doesn't disintegrate and I can eat it afterwards. Well, those are yeah. kind of plastic anyways, too, yeah. right? <laughs> but, I mean, at least it doesn't <laughs> at least disintegrate. We put it through our bodies. And I can eat it. Like that's that's, that's the solution. The ultimate, yeah. That's the solution. None of this. 
cardboard <laughs> paper. I bet you a salesman came to them. Dude, have you seen those? Like, they do look pretty. Have you They're seen really the Japanese? Like, have you seen the Japanese water capsules? Oh no, what are they? Are they so cool? basically, it's it's so you don't pollute your plastic water bottle. Oh, okay. but you need like fifty of them to like equal the amount. Anyway, okay. so basically, it's just like a little capsule, like you know the Tide capsules you put in your laundry, oh, like the like and the you just toss it in there and you crunch it and it's just a cup. It's like a cup of water. You're just like oh. Oh, I got a couple See, of water. That is cool. But the thing is, I feel like you'll need like 50 of them to get one bottle, you know? <laughs> Japanese, man, they think outside the box. <laughs> they really do. Yeah. They really do. Nintendo. No, yeah, let me again preface this with, do I think that people are trying to do something that's good? Yes. My point is, number one, when I'm in Utah, don't talk to me about sea turtles, okay? <laughs> Don't yeah. We like, don't ship if our I was a garbage Cali- out there. Yeah, yeah. If I was in California, if we keep that in Nevada anyway. ships our garbage to us. Yeah. If <laughs> if I was in California or on the coast, New York, somewhere, you could then talk to me about sea turtles. But when I'm in Utah, and I'm landlocked. <laughs> well, the best part about this is he made the lunch lady go get him a plastic straw. Yeah. Well, I think she likes me, so she went and got me, <laughs> and the best kind, the Slurpee straw. Okay. She got me a Slurpee straw, dude. Those are cool. Japanese water capsule. I want one of those. <laughs> I just want you to know they're real. So, now you, now you, so do you take it like a pill or? They're like, just little like capsules that you just. But <laughs> No, but I think the Twizzler. If you want to be environmental, Twizzler. The Twizzler straw. I like a good Twizzler. Or I prefer black, a black, black licorice straw. I would prefer a red vine. A red vine Twizzler's works. too plasticky for me. The rope. No, lic- that's the point. You, you really want to get adventurous. Rope licorice. Why not just give fun. everybody like <laughs> when you. Yeah. Itch, but see, I mean, rope licorice isn't hollow. Oh, isn't. Oh, dang. I, mean, no. I, I mean, you're a school, so you. Maybe make they crap. have some. They probably have hollow but, rope licorice. But the, the fear is it get kinked. And Did we, nobody wants a kink. No, you can't kink your toes. I fix your problem, man. Yeah. What? So, I mean, you're a school, so uh-huh. despite what people say, you make a butt ton of money. I, yeah, so, it's true. So, check this out. During tuition, or what's what's that opening day, like when everybody comes and meets friends and stuff? Like uh, day one? Yeah, like what, orientation. There you go. That is. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> give everybody, when they give them the little welcome baggie, one of those curly plastic straws, like when you were little. Oh, yeah. And, you, and if you don't bring that to the cafeteria, you can't get a drink. Uh, here's the deal rules, with those. Man. Well, oh, ready for this? Ready I got this? mono from that one time. <laughs> ready ready That's for this? why everybody gets their own. No, ready for this? <laughs> and they raised the price of my soda by 40 cents. And I guarantee you that 40 cents is because those pip, those cardboard straws that don't, don't work don't you get your soda are more expensive. Free? Well, when I don't get, so only certain people give it. To, I got to time it right. Oh, if there's okay. certain people at the cashier thing, they give it to me for free. Everybody else charges me. Don't you have a little lanyard that says, I work here? Oh, yeah, but if you work there, you got to pay for it still. You don't even get a discount if you work there. Yeah, that's stupid. But I get it for free. You make friends with people. I just talk to them. Hey, how you doing? Having a good day? Give me a plastic straw right now, or I'm pissed. <laughs> no, I wasn't mad. I was just like, hey. I was like, well, you turned like, around to people. It was like the Microsoft kind of store all, all over again. Red was, <laughs> when I was, she's when like, I, we're just trying to save the sea turtles, and I said, yeah, but we're in Utah. Those, you know, those squiggly straws. Oh yeah. When I was a kid, I found one, <laughs> and I used it because I thought it was all, awesome. Well, and I got that's mono. Your first mistake. You gotta just pick one up off the street. Well, I didn't know that. A homeless guy gave it to me. <laughs> See, at that time, I didn't know that. I thought stuff was cool. Well, you know now. Yeah. I got mono and strep at the same like time. The, wow. It was like the Microsoft store all over again. Because oh. you turned around and the guys were like, they're like, yeah, you suck. It basically was, yeah, because people, and then I was walking out and there was like all these students lined up to get in. I was like, have you guys tried these straws? They suck, man. And like people were like, yeah, I have actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Good old you. I stuck my fist in the air. Yeah. You're the voice Follow the me, people. Out. Revolution. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know then what you I, should then do? I ran out the door. Dude, you know what you should do? Yeah. You should under. You should bring in your own. Like, you should, I'll, I'll get you. I'll buy you like a ten dollar. Go to Costco pack. and buy yeah. plastic straws and, and then, just keep putting them. No, no, no. And then undercut them. They sell for forty cents, twenty cents with a plastic straw. Hey, you pay forty cents for that. You Shh. hey, I got. You're missing those pay, plastic straws. I got them for you right here. You just man. like pulls. Got them for you. What kind do you like? <laughs> you like the bendy kind? <laughs> I got, I got the bendy kind for you too. What's a little I extra? Actually, why aren't you start bendy? walking up next to somebody with sunglasses? Uh, I got, I got some, I got some straws hey, for you. Hey, you want a straw, man? <laughs> you want a straw? You want okay, make a little, little money straw? on the side, man. Thirty make cents, no thirty cents for this plastic straw. They don't give it. And to you're you at anymore. a college, so you just say you're t- doing a business lecture. I don't know, so you can't get in trouble. Say That's you're true. doing a psychology study, it's a sociological <laughs> experiment. <laughs> Dude, I really want to know how plastic straws hurt the sea turtles. No, I'm sure you could look it up. Like. I mean, Gar- garbage hurts sea turtles. If you if you were swimming and then we removed all the water and put in straws, you'd probably like have a tough time, right? Well, but do we use salt water to make straws? I'm so confused. <laughs> I I think you're trying to overthink it, Jordan. I'm really not in a, like <laughs> I I think we should save the environment when we can, but I I just don't know like how it works. How it works? The yeah, lo- like, the logistic of killing sea turtles. Yeah, you know, you know I, what is cool science? I though? really think it like pokes them in the eye. You know what's cool? Like, science? I don't, you know what is cool science? And city <laughs> skylines have made me think about this. Yeah. Landfills. 
It's cool science behind that. Did you say Land- landfills? Landfills. Oh. Yeah, like gar- where you take your garbage. I just yeah. dumped mine in the river. It's genius science. You, oh, really? <laughs> the river behind your house? Yeah. <laughs> That's where you put all the, <laughs> That's where I like dump the car. bodies. <laughs> <laughs> after you burn styrofoam. <laughs> Like, whoa, Jordan. And no wonder there's nobody lives in your city. City yeah, skylines. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I mean, the poop's going in there. You can't, the get, much, going in there you can't get much trashier than that. You <laughs> might as well throw the rest in poop. there. The ultimate trash. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's really biodegradable. It actually helps the environment. Yeah, you Does put it help in, sea turtles? You put that in your lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help see. All right, we got to get at it. Mr. Big Spicy, what will you be up to this week? Where I'll, can people find you? I'm gonna, I stream now uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern. Boom. Yeah, it's a little bit easier for my for my <laughs> schedule. Nice. Uh, I'll be playing Star. No. Oh. Stardew Valley Graveyard, Graveyard Keeper. Keeper. Eh, they're the same thing. They should combine. They should work together as teams and make it so that Stardew when Keeper. you're in Stardew Valley, you could just travel to the graveyard and it becomes Graveyard. Keeper. Fun fact. Fun fact, they reference Stardew Valley and Graveyard Keeper. Uh, the guy tells a story about how he went to an oasis, an oasis with some lady that uh, g- g- tells his fortune. That oasis is in Stardew Valley. Oh, fun so they're fact. obviously fans. Yeah, they're obviously Very fans. Very cool. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Little uh, well, it's, it's Easter egg. Definitely inspired by that game. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 stream, I'll stream in the morning. Very nice. Or in the afternoon. Jordan, what will you be up to this week besides building a house? Uh, playing more. I played Battlefront 2 this last weekend. Actually. Oh, how was jumping back into that? I went into third person mode and I did a lot better. Oh, very well done. Because you can, like, peek around corners and stuff like that. Very well yeah. done. So, uh, probably a little bit more of that because it's a very pretty game to play. And then uh, just the usual, you know, Warcraft, Fortnite. Nice. Nice. Maybe more Tomb Raider. I'll see if I, I will be streaming uh, some Golf Club 2019 this week, as well as some Madden. I'm going to be streaming my league games. Actually, I streamed my league game last night. I lost. I'm one and one. I'm going to mm. be streaming actually first thing in the morning tomorrow. Uh, then I'm going to be jumping in Golf Club. And when I want to take a day off from my competitiveness of Madden, one or two days a week, City Skylines. I am very much back into that game and Landfills. thoroughly enjoying it. Thoroughly enjoying it. I've cleaned up my river. My river was black. Cleaned <laughs> it right up. Gotta tell you well, yeah, I saw your river. Well, yeah. Your first playthrough was, I felt bad for the people downriver. <laughs> well, I don't care about those people. That was, if you want to live by a nice river, you, it's b- low-end part you, of town. you go get educated and live, move uptown. <laughs> yeah. You do not but have not, beachfront not property. Not now. Now my whole town. I don't discriminate against cleanliness. Yeah, I respect Everywhere that. is clean. Teach your little citizens a uh, little I hard work. Little citizens. See, this is the problem work. with you, Jordan. You view your citizens as little. <laughs> This is the little people. <laughs> you can zoom right in, and they're big. <laughs> yeah, I view them just as citizens. I don't put a size. I don't size this. Well, hey, man, why don't they band together and you know and overthrow? And yeah, yeah. I'm trying to teach them that life. I, I believe life they isn't do. easy. Life is not fair. Yeah. Sometimes the man kicks you yeah. when you're down. Kick him back. <laughs> Try to teach him a lesson. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. As always, it's been uh, it's been another good podcast. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If you haven't yet. If you want to help us grow, one, go uh, consider donating to us on Patreon. It really helps. We're trying. We're almost to that studio. We're really exciting where we can create more high-quality content. But if uh, if you haven't yet, go like us, subscribe to us on iTunes, review us there. It really helps spread the word, help gets our rankings up in iTunes. Have a great week, everybody. Have a safe holiday. We'll see you guys later.
Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Jordan just kissed Mark's finger. Oh I gosh. don't know what's going on here, that guys. Was, that feels weird. It feels weird. Hey, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. I felt that this was one of our uh, one of our better shows. Uh, we're back on track. We had a lot less stressful weeks here. We're stuff starting to wind down. Uh, so let us. Uh, I don't know if you guys felt the same way, but but I did. Uh, it's always good. Thank you very much for joining. Sorry, we. We go off on those rants, but it's just it's just uh, passionate. It's a passion yeah. project. And honestly, like uh, when I ask a question, it's because I legitimately um, I'm wondering the answer. I mean, you are like legitimate. I, I'm trying. Question, you're I'm a legitimate seriously question answer. trying to see- seek knowledge. Uh, Reactor Leak says, hopefully, I'll be able to make another podcast in the future, but not as likely with the new job. Reactor Leak, I uh, I'm really curious about your new job and excited for you, man. You're gonna have to you're, you're gonna have to let us know how it goes. And uh, congratulations, that's that's exciting. He's working for the book. I think Facebook. there's a window open. A window oh, open? that's the that's the song. Yeah. Here, I'll turn it up, and it'll go wah 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 wah. <laughs> this is the wah wah song. Uh, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We're gonna leave you now with our producer credits, and then our normal credits. This is the last week of this iteration of producer credits. Next week, we're gonna be changing them up. Exciting times! New producer credits. Are you on ready? Their way. Here we go. Let's do it, baby. Adam Painter, the one and only, the man, Adam. Man, Madame, Alpha X Builder. He's an Alpha Time. I think it's Alpha Time. Oh, Andrew Goldberg, the one and only yeah, Andrew, Andrew Goldberg. Beast 420. My favorite human noid at the moment. Is Beast. R- really? Cheap yeah. Wiggum 86. Cheap Wiggum. He's Rockin from Australia. My Australian lover. Christopher Coran. Oh, I that's think. Quantum Break. That's the game I was that's talking Quantum about. Break right there. Dude. Oh, oh talking yeah. About Lane. Oh, baby. Clay Lane, the angel of death. Dark Knight 3234. Dark Knight. Catching the cab. Dude, Dark Knight uh, is a new mod. New mod. So All right. right. Dylan Domingo. Double D. Double D did not Dominic De Bazio. The other double D. Double D. We, got double we have two double D's. Double. Freaky. It's four times the fun. R.O. Freaky Siri. Freaky R.O. Free Radical. If he were here, he'd say there's a little bit rape in each of us. And there is. Especially if you play Shadow Greg Wars. Janey. When you take your headphones. Headed to New Vegas. Greg Janey. When you take your headphones off, you start not talking into the microphone. Happy Mayo. Hanging out with Lara. Oh, Lara Craft is a little lips, man. Michael Contini, nicest guy in the universe. Ah, oh, he is. He is. Oh, there we go. I'm talking right into the microphone. I can feel it. Oh, yes. R56 Cooper. Ooh, taking care of his business like a badass. <laughs> Reactor leak. Our Facebook fuzzy Facebook fox friend. Reactor leak. <laughs> Richard Brown. The eye. The eye of Mordor. Ronin, Ronin. Have no fear. Ronin's here. Wait. No, he's not. Wait. Yes, he is. Ronin. And Terry Giuseppe. I'll jump right on in. Here. Another brother from down under. Dude, that's such a cool picture. And last but not least. Tier one ops. Sky. Lie in the sky. The sky game. Hey, Shadow Navy, can I get my gamer tag in my name in the photo instead? Uh, I believe that. Can't you do that on Patreon? Uh, yeah. If you go and change your account on Patreon, and instead of put the, sh- instead of put your gamer tag instead of your name, or put your name and then for your last name put your gamer tag, that would be really helpful or something like that. You can put it somewhere in there. Like Everyone's done it. AKA. Yeah, it's just hard for me when it was when it, when there was less producers, it was easy for me to match up names with gamer tags. I just can't do it anymore, so it, it's got just go just go in uh, go in and change it. Yeah. You should be able to in your account. He, he says he did. Uh, oh, okay. But did you do it within like the last month because we update that monthly, right? Yeah, so, so we'll be updating this one. Shadow Navy, if I don't see it, I'll try to remember to reach out to you. So uh, and 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 we can match it up there. Hey, have a great week, everybody. Have a good one. Beast 420, Reactor Lake, Shadow Navy, everybody who's joined us, thank you very much. We will see you guys next week. <laughs> Mr. Spicy, you're my only pipeline going forward. That mean, I think that means he can watch me, right? He'll be yeah. able to watch you. Yeah. I'll take care of you, buddy. Boom. I'll take care of you. See you, everybody. We love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.